Live from the Loki studio for this Thursday, the 14th of March, it's Back Pocket. Brought to you as always by our rambunctious and rootable Back Pocketeer patrons. This week starring Steph Ben Dixon. Are you horny, baby? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Gus Ronald. It'll just be a big old tug fest in there. <laughs> Ruby Innes. <gasps> and Peter Burns. I'm going to f***ing do this for the boys. <laughs> and behind the scenes, it's Josh, Will and Ben. This week on the show, we revisit some formative history and lose ourselves like tears in rain. Now get ready. It's time for Back Pocket. <laughs> Pocket tonight, baby. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat, for coming. Happy to have you here. Uh, thank you, all of you guys, for coming. It's our job. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. 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 It is and your thank, pleasure. And thank you. Hey, you're welcome. <laughs> and okay. hey, thank you. It's all right. You're it's all right. Welcome. I got you. Peter, yeah. Thank, yeah. thanks. Nah, no, okay. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Not thank you. Denied. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really oh. nice. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming. We've got a good show uh, coming up. It's <laughs> just good. Be- Okay, not great, we, not, not great. Best. Could hey, be better. we've got a really standard show coming up. Hey, fun up. to have the team back together. Just yeah. say yeah. the whole gang's here. The Opening whole expectations team. low, I think, is great because yeah. then people can be pleasantly surprised. That's yeah. a good plan. Hey, yeah. guys, thanks so much for coming. We've got like a dog shit show coming up. <laughs> it's bad. It's full of crud uh, and it's going to stink. So thanks for coming. How are we feeling? Well, better before that. Oh. No, I feel good. <laughs> I feel great. Man. Good as gold? I feel good as bloody gold. Would you yeah. say? I do. Yeah. What shirt uh, is that? Is that a 4X shirt? Uh, what's the brand? Uh, squash. Squa- it's squash? A, it's the same as my Yeah Nah. I'm Bloody Ripper. T-shirt. Um, you know? But this did not sell well because it was at like half price and they cannot yeah. get rid of them. Yeah, uh, I like it. Good oh, as good. gold is yeah. not like, um, it just doesn't have the same punch to it. <laughs> nice. Because okay. that's the shirt, but this one's just my. That, <laughs> that, that, that looks like it says God is gold. It's, it does a bit, doesn't it? It's G- giving um, like Mustard Man. <laughs> mustard Man. <laughs> giving King of the Mustard Kingdom. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. That'll work yeah. well. Yeah. yeah totally. And you're wearing one of Peter's shirts. As you can see. If we're doing uh, the fashion report. Pete has worn this shirt on the show. That is Which the rule. therefore means that I can now wear it on mm, the show. He had to debut them. Yeah. yeah. Have you got any left to debut That's totally debut? reasonable, is it not? Uh, yeah, they've been debuted. All Do have you, been debuted. All debuted. Yeah. I got I, three. I like that we've all years on from making this show finally. And when I say us all, I mean mainly me and Pete. Because you guys always do this, but like have delved into bright colours that you wouldn't usually wear on a day to day basis, knowing mm. you're going to be on the show that night. Because then if you do wear your regular greys, your drabs, your olives, mm. and then you're on the show that night, you watch it back, you're like, kind of blend a I little bit, a bit there. Olive-y, I look a bit know. olivey. Yeah. But you think, pop out good as gold. I th- yeah, I think totally. I definitely have coloured shirts that I like to wear on the show. But I think also, um, I think just fashion has changed. It, it was very neutral for a while. And I feel like I like that it's, um, we're embracing colour. Yeah. You know what else I think? I feel like. I feel like it is. every now and again, <laughs> well, every, I don't know why this is a tangent. I feel, like every, I feel like every now and again, like men's fashion goes through this thing where it like men are allowed to explore like more traditionally feminine things. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Sure. And, it's like, and it's like, um, you know, like in the 70s, it's like all the rock stars wearing makeup and like um, tight, tight skinny tight, shirts yeah, and like yeah. Yeah. bell bottoms and yeah, all that kind yeah, of yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like um, and I feel like that's coming back a little bit now. And then it, it's almost like there's a reactionary thing where they're like, no, only men, only wear man things. And then it just like. That's happening it, it goes, now. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying that that, that always oh, happens okay. afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. My main gripe with young men, everyone just looks like a sort of daggy fisherman now. Everyone just has like a baggy shirt, shorts and a shitty and a hat mullet. on yeah. and a mullet, a mullet and some facial hair and a hat that says something like <laughs> 1986 Vegemite crew. And you're like, that used to be cool. <laughs> That's, That's true. But sick. I feel like also, <laughs> but I feel like those same men. I feel like the same men though are wearing jewelry and nail polish. Do you that's, know what I mean? Yeah, like I no, feel like it's, yeah. I feel like there's a. The I'm wearing that's women's what, underwear right now, and I've never felt more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's nice. The breeze, you know. I snapped yeah, your thumb yeah, just they're, before they're the show started. Aren't yeah, they? yeah, yeah. Do you um yeah. it, cheek, cheeky cut? Uh, no, it's, a, it's the full. It's the it's full back, straight floss. but it's um, <laughs> it's it's really sheer, so right. the the airflow is good. I mean, what? 
That's to avoid um, a visible line in your tight clothing. Oh, you you which got is something the... you'll have to think about. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing I'm wearing lingerie. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Lingerie. What a beautiful word. I, know, I just think great. like Not when I just think like <laughs> you know in the Renaissance era, yeah, when men were wearing pantyhose. Mm. It was the women who, inf who, who influenced that fashion because they like to see the men's legs. You know what I need? Yeah. Dare I, I say, I need a shapely calf. <laughs> a shapely calf. <laughs> do you need a shapely calf? Do you do so. dude? I need a corset. I'm ready so for that little, like, freaky. bring it all oh, along. Yeah. As, so, as a girdle, so as a girdle, the male true. Seinfeld girdle, as someone who hiked his pants up a little higher the other day on that other show just because it felt good mm. to have everything mm, right where it needs to be. Oh, Remember yeah. when I said I'd get swole? <laughs> got swole in the wrong way, and now I need pants <laughs> to make me go, oh, yeah. Sad. See, Sad. I've got full gamer gear on right now because I've got your gamer shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then oh, these yeah. pants are also World of Horror pants. Nice. Which are very cool and nice and very comfy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're very yeah. nice. They're, they're awesome. I, uh, I'm in gamer mode right now. Good. I appreciate it. It's good because it's a gaming episode. Is it? <laughs> it is. No, no, not the way we're talking about it. So, I don't know about yeah, that. This might be crazy, but this episode today, it's all about video games. And that's what's up. And stuff. Yeah. But before we get to our next segment, real <clears> quick, we've got the post show after the show. We that's do why it. it's called the post show. And we're calling out to you, the girl reading this, to send us some questions for the post show. If you, if there's anything you've really always wanted to know about any one of mainly us. Mainly fashion and lingerie related mainly, at this point. Mainly uh, lingerie <laughs> yeah. related. Uh, We've seen us. some panic typing during the post show. People going, I yeah. forgot to write questions. I'm in there writing something. We don't have time for that. you got two hours now to really think on a, a golden really question. Really put that in your <laughs> gosh darn brain. I overthink the show, yeah. Steph. Yeah. You know, I just love that you always kind of neg the audience into trying to do stuff for you. You know yeah. what I mean? You're like... I I've like seen some it. shit panicked questions, you guys. Like, <laughs> that was really like interesting tactic. Do you use that in other parts of your life? You know. <laughs> you <laughs> both know. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, uh, it's about time we get to a little bit of backup. Let's do it. What? Ruby. In the car. You did, so yeah. <laughs> a little bit of backup is where we uh, take a little bit of news and we talk about it and we back up and talk about it. It's brought to us by Reese Wild. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> what is that? It's, like it's, a, it's a little spooky ghost. I'm pretty sure it's a little spooky ghost vibe. Can we get some? It's a jam. Whatever it is. It's a I mean, the vibes it's are the vibe. A, it's just a little guy. It's just. A, it's, it's just yeah. It's, it's just like a, a little, little guy. guy song. It's like a song for a little fella. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? The no, three people on this panel did not know what that was about. This they is know, a bit... They know. They know what's. They about. know. This is some. Did you guys know what that was? Some bit I'm not in on. Don't. Yeah. Did you know where it's from? They know. Yeah. You think he said creep creepy dude? And it's a little guy. It's like a little me? ghost guy, isn't it? Josh, can you move a foot to your right for a second? Yay! Yay! Oh, she's, oh, she's, so she's, out of she's, she's out of here. She's shy. shy. Uh, <laughs> hi, everyone up. over there, by the way, we should say as well. We didn't say hi, hi. at the start. Uh, there they are. How you all doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. Uh, with a segment sponsored by Reese Wild, as usual, we get a sound from the wild, from the Reese Wild. We mm. listen to it. We try and guess what it is, where it's from, who's making it, uh, and then we what's have it revealed it. what's making it. We've worked out now it doesn't have to be an animal from the wild. It can be a plant. You're a little bit sore about yeah. that, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, shit. I uh, think he's just being a bit creative, thinking outside the box. Yeah. Hey, Reese. Do know better? Your, know your limits. <laughs> do better. Know your limits and do better. Uh, and I'm here to say, do worse. Yeah. Yeah. Dog shit episode. Suck harder. Uh, let's have a listen to, let's go to the wild, shall we? Listen oh. closely. <laughs> you love saying that. Hippopotamus. Ring. <laughs> God damn it. You're out. I was so sure. It's an incorrect hippopotamus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a person there. There's a person there. Saying, there. that's it? Yeah. That could have been a zoologist. That's it? Yeah, so someone's patting it or feeding in it. In a hippopotamus. Or... Oh! Ruby, do you want to Maybe. Guess? I've got it. Uh... <laughs> it's a man snoring and then the wife goes, that's it. And it leaves, <laughs> and leaves him. And leaves. Leaves him. <laughs> <laughs> she packs him in. This was the last straw. <laughs> that's it? That's it? <laughs> Just leaves. Is it? That's it? Is it, you know how um, when... 
cows get really bloated and they have to put the hose in the cow to make the gas come out. Oh, no, but that's yeah. the thing. And they have to release the, the gas from the cow. Can we hear it one more time, please, Josh, while we describe? You think this is gas being released from a... It's a guttural gr right. Yeah. It does it feel like a snore. It sounds bearish. Oh, could be a bear. Pete's going to go bear? Oh, uh, no, I said a man snoring. <laughs> <laughs> I think could it's... Could have been a man. And then the sound of his wife leaving him the end. Yeah. 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 I think I, uh, it, it's definitely an animal getting its gas out. That's my vibes. Cause, okay. Because she's Josh? like, that's it. And it's animal like, getting think... its gas out. Can be any animal. Okay. No. Angus. Um, it's, not, it's not that. I think it's a zookeeper gently patting a capybara. <laughs> <laughs> capybara. That's no, so it's cute. not. That's a right. deep sound for oh. a capybara. Uh, could have been a big one. <clears throat> Josh put us out of our misery. Down. Uh, it's one of the most terrifying things in existence, I think. Okay. Says, is it, a is it Reese? No, it's not Reese. Okay. It's a... Oh, cassowary. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Please tell me it's not going to throw up. It Just does look no. like it's about to regurgitate something. Just and you move. You have to pick it up and move it onto the carpet, off the carpet. No, no. <laughs> That's it. Oh. That's it. Okay. Wow. Good I gravy. That, I that, hate that cassowaries. I think they're so scary. I'm not a fan of any of the ball sack birds. Mm, no, I agree. It's <clears> yucky. <throat> yeah. Put them away. No turkey for uh, I don't Thanksgiving. Need to, I don't need to gobble, see that. Gobble, gobble. I don't need to see no? it. Oh, Re Fondle? Reese has said that it's uh, it, that's it's get the fuck out the Good way. Job, I see. Get the fuck away sound. I'm, I'm gonna get it so wrong, well. but cassowaries. Okay. Everyone's okay. writing in chat. Cassowaries can get fucked. They are those stupid, like crazy violent as yeah. well. I think don't they? They have like they jump on yeah. the back and do the gashing and the clawing and the. Nah. It's like if it's like if emus had more going on, but they were a lot angrier. The emus with a bit more happening up here and a bit more attitude. Yeah, but no, they dress a the lot part. more happening in here. My cassowaries have been responsible for I think two deaths. Of humans? Yeah, but they, it's like, got to be more. They, they, mm, I, don't think so. I think they just get um, it's if they get you on the ground, they stomp you to death. <laughs> if they get you on the ground, then you're like, yeah. So you just got to you just got to like fucking plant it and not let them knock you over. And you make fine. the noise back at them. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Well, my um cousins had an ostr ostrich farm for a while, and um those mm. like ostriches, male ostriches do that like crazy like head thing, and they would like wave their like wings back and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're like. Yeah, but I think it's amazing. I think you both thing. just went to the yeah. cabaret. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, you've been to Moulin Rouge. I think you were both at Mardi Gras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they know what's up. Uh, thank you, Reese, for sending in thank that you. cry from the wild. Uh, a little bit of backup this week. Guys, happy Mario Day. Fucking hell. Happy Mario <laughs> Day. we were going to talk about something <laughs> else. No. <laughs> no, it was Mario 10 Day. Yeah, Ma As, Martin Day. It was yeah. Martin Day. Martin Day. Uh, Mario 10th was, of course, Mario Day. You all know that already. You had it in your calendars. You all celebrated. You all I ate the traditional Mario Hi. Day food. <laughs> Miyamoto here. <laughs> you Hi all, there. You My all name is Shigeru Miyamoto. At the traditional Miyamoto shrine, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm sure everyone has celebrated in their own way, and it was a special <laughs> Mario Day. Uh, no, this was just some crap marketing thing that happened on the 10th of March because they saw an opportunity for it, and there's a day for everything these days. Mm -hmm. mm. Steph, you pointed out you didn't like new days for everything. You don't like things getting days, do you? There's just too many yeah. days. Yeah. There's too many days. Today it's, it's Pie pan Day. It's Pancake Day. It's, Shro just, it's Shrove Cheese Day. It's just like um, it's fodder for morning news shows to go, apparently today is World Frozen Yogurt Day. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? So I love frozen yogurt. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, frozen yogurt used to be every. You don't see it so much these so, days, no, do you? You just don't off. see it that much. Oh, turn yeah, it frozen off. yogurt gives me a bit of a stomach ache. <laughs> it'll yeah. make, it'll yeah. make a comeback. Fro-yo. <laughs> well, you're lactose intolerant. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> anyway. I can't help myself. Meanwhile, I can't help myself. And then this? In Syria. 30,000 people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus uh, Christ. That no, is, that's it, the news. That was not the news. It was Mario Day. Oh. It was Mario Day. Uh, That's true. I missed that. There were some announcements on Mario Day, some more exciting than others. Uh, I'll start with the good and we'll finish with the bad. The good stuff was that we got release dates for Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door remake. And that's what's up. She's excited about that. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Luigi's, uh, that is <laughs> yeah. the Ma May 23rd. That's coming out. Yeah. Um, ah, um, Matrathu Day. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, June 27th, we celebrate... <laughs> Uh, Spooky Brother House. <laughs> Wait, isn't that like Independence Day? June or 20, that's June. Oh, that's no, July my, 4th. It's Saki's birthday. Oh, there you go. Happy birthday, Saki. 
Uh, and Happy <laughs> Luigi's Mansion Two <laughs> yeah. release day. Yay. Yeah, uh, that's movie. coming out. Did they, did they give anyone any any free stuff? Uh, not free stuff, but there were some Nintendo Classics so. released. If you have a subscription on Nintendo's Classic service, there were uh, Doctor Mario and Game Boy, Mario Golf, and Mario Tennis both came out. Um, I guess the only other kind of interesting thing was Miyamoto did pop up. We saw before, but also uh, surprise tweeted on the Nintendo account, which is kind of rare because he does announce everything by. Uh, quoting here, this is Miyamoto. That's how they all start on the mm. official account. Yeah. Uh, we're now creating a new animated film based on the world of Super Mario Brothers. The film is planned for release in uh, theaters April 3rd, 2026. So the sequel to the Mario Brothers movie is coming out uh, on... I still haven't seen it. You still haven't seen it? No. Nah. Oh, okay. We saw it. It was all right. Yeah, I wouldn't bother. It's, it's a, a kid's film. So it's a movie for children. It's a movie for children. How do you yep. feel like this Mario Day chat is going? Well, I'm going to get to the good stuff. He's about oh. to ask a question. Well, sorry. Actually, I'm going to the bad stuff after the good stuff. Okay. okay. And the bad stuff is where the fun is. Yep. I'm going to start with my tweets. Okay. Okay. I, I trust you. I trust you. All right. Well, I won't <laughs> keep reading Miyamoto's tweet. This is news, <laughs> Steph. This is hard hitting news. It was fucking Mario Day. <laughs> this uh, is Miyamoto. In the next game, Mario is going to kiss Bowser on the mouth. I'd love that. I but like Miyamoto is very sweet. That's fucking Did news. you guys see yeah. this? Did yeah, you hear about this? This is Gus right now. This is me. You guys hear about this? Fat Yoshi. No, the thing that did come out as well, which I thought was atrocious, uh, at least the way it was handled in a marketing sense, was uh, Lego Super Mario stuff has existed for a while. There's been a crossover where you can get the little Mario character have, and have you can a build a Mario set. I think that's great. Lego's creative. It's good for everyone to flex their creativity. But it's not in the way that Lego lets you be free and make stuff. It's like, here's the exact set and here's how you play with a yeah. Mario yeah. figurine. That's a different thing. It's I basically a large kinder surprise. It is. Yeah. And it's like AR as well. It's like when they brought out Lego Friends for girls. I'm really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's another. I remember Lego Friends, but there was also another one as well. There was like another. Well, maybe I'm thinking of like Polly Pocket or some shit. If Lego Friends was effectively. Polly Did it go away? Yeah. Or yeah. Was it unsuccessful? No, I think okay. it was just like it was just part of that thing where they were just like, oh, we can't just let people just make stuff. We need to make girl Lego and boy Lego. Yeah. Well, the problem with Lego this, chicks. at least, is yeah, probably I'm yeah. going to say how they market it, which is Nintendo does some weird freaking ads from time to time. Remember all, there was the Amiibo ad where the little boy wanted one so he could impress <coughs> his brother's girlfriend, and then she gives him a little bit of like, you're all right, come t see me when you're all grown up. It was yeah. like this weird Come back when you're 18. Yeah. yeah. A bit of it's a very strange ad. I was like, whoa. Lego did Nintendo. an announcement trailer uh, for uh, their Super Mario new set, which is they've got three new play sets released, uh, and there's the Bowser set. And uh, nah, two other ones, whatever. But they did the announcement through this guy here who's announcing it. And Josh, forget a bit of volume. A family crashes the announcement video. These unexpected guests. And it's uh, really hi, passive hello. aggressive. Guten Tag. Um, they like who hate who them being you? there and, the whole time. Uh, how, did you, how did they get in? We're the Genesis. We got her through the secret door. Good to hear. Uh, well, we're just beginning a stream celebrating Mario Day, and we've got they stay the Mario, you British prick, Lego Super Mario, Mario play sets to showcase. If anyone watched this, very Serpents is right. It's weird, and it gets the weirder. The family so interrupts the announcement to the shagal or whatever that word is to <laughs> like the presenters who were like, "Can chagrin? you please chagrin? Thank chagrin. you." Who were like, "Can you please <laughs> leave?" Like, what was that word? <laughs> chagrin. <laughs> chagrin. I will say he's got very beautiful eyes. Though. He's he's doing his best. The he whole thing. By the end of it, they're like, consumer, family, fuck off. Like, that's how they make, they sell this whole thing. Watch it in, in full. It's really weird. It's so strange. And how it's just Nintendo's marketing. How did they get through the marketing team? Yeah. Yeah, because it's, I mean, it's, it's a Lego ad, right? It's on the Lego channels, not the mm. Nintendo ads. I think Nintendo ran it on theirs officially as well. Yeah, okay. Um, um, but yeah. But so this is like the Lego so team what, So what's the thing. angle? Why, why? Why? It doesn't make, it doesn't become apparent throughout the whole video. No. Awesome. Why there's this? Why there's this? I think it's trying negative to show vibes energy. Here's the yeah. Here's the family who wouldn't. He's an even product. better looking man with even better looking eyes. Oh, Jesus, wow. look they at are them. really beautiful. They eyes. just like it was this on the call sheet. We gotta, <laughs> <I don't understand. laughs> that I was gonna fall in love. Yeah. With too. yeah, they're like we're looking for men whose eyes you can get lost in. <laughs> <laughs> then these creepy kids turn up and they don't let him get a word out. They just talk over it all. They even go like, "What's that?" And he goes, "That's the cannon. Remember the thing we just saw in the video earlier?" Like he's talking down literally. To curious children. This is like it's this is, Lego. I think so this funny. is a device for when they want to give information to the audience, but they don't want to have a presenter just directly tell people. So, like, how do we get people organically into the scene? This is not organic, Steph. Yeah, I guess, like, but fail at it. I'm trying to think about being a kid watching this and going, "It's funny that the kids are annoying the adult." Is that who? Is that what yeah. it's doing? Then the adults do a bit later on as well. Because mm. yeah. also Lego for adults as well. But no, I totally. But if if they're like this ad is for 
children mm. because it's Mario Lego and it is less creative Lego. It's not like the tool set stuff. It's yeah. like, it's just build this thing. I don't know. Look, yeah, yeah, no, it's, 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 it's supposed to be strange. for kids. It's transfer to, over here. It's supposed to be for kids to watch and they go, oh, yeah, my my uh, older sibling's friends do fucking hate when I'm around. Yeah. This <laughs> is just like my life. The end, of it, the end of it is they do a little announcement where they show a silhouette of a Mario Kart uh, model that's mm. been made in Lego. That I'm all for because you can actually race those things around and play with them as toys. Because yeah. the way they try and force you to play with the Mario toy, they're like, mm. tap it on things yeah. to get coins. It's like, that's not creative. That's but dull. When but my Mario sister Kart didn't want me around, she used to um, uh, tie me up in a closet and time how long it took for me to get out and tell me it was a game. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that's so she, she was like David Blaine at bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get Houdini. Yeah. But important life skill that I retain to this day. There we go. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you learn something new every day. Celebrate Mario Day how you see fit. <laughs> Tie your siblings up with bondage. <laughs> Mario Day was a thing, apparently. It was a big marketing stunt. I thought the Lego ad was weird and I thought it was worthy of being news and worthy of being a little bit of backup. Oh, we don't that, play this That was said with some sass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I I hated that video so much I dragged it onto the show. Just I think to be the like... thing with with these like Mario Day type situations though is like it almost feels like uh like Nintendo and these companies like forced to show something off on a very certain day. Probably was snuck up on them as yeah. a thing, being like, we're going to do like, this. Because it was purely product. There was no nostalgia. There was no mm, like, hey, here's yeah. a little doco. Here's a little thing. Here's some love for the characters. <laughs> no, it was no, just that, product. Pr that production doesn't feel like it was snuck up upon. Like, that's a lot of production. Yeah. That's but it was Lego. five actors. Yeah. Mm. That's a lot. It was that's Lego. a lot of work to yeah. make that happen, to book that talent. What? I feel like we're talking about it too long. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how about we talk about what we've been playing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Josh was over it. <laughs> Hello. What we've been playing is a segment where we talk about what we've been playing, and it's brought to us by Nicrotex. I'm going to do that. I, like I was being it. the weird little guy. It's kind uh, of like a. It's, no. It sounds like spooky, a jazz doesn't creep. It, it no, it does. To me, it's like a jazz creep. Mm. I think creep of it as like a quirky <laughs> villain. I think he's got a big double bass case, but no no guitar in it. To quote, and he, he puts kids in it. To quote my favorite. <laughs> Oh, don't. Oh, it's like a <laughs> To quote my favorite back pocket team member, I think we've talked about this a bit too long. Yeah, fair. <laughs> With every Nicrotex sponsored segment which is always this one we <laughs> like to get a tweet from nicrotex mm -hmm. and the tweet that i've got that is kind of related to something we were talking about earlier today mm -mm. bene Gesserit voice <laughs> you should maybe hang out with me but only if you want to <laughs> Very good. And <laughs> I that's something I can relate to because I would love to have the Bene Gesserit voice. <laughs> I would love to I would love to just like a little uh, uh you're at an Italian restaurant and they have given you a very specific amount of uh, Parmesan cheese mm. to go on your spaghetti bolognese and they go to walk away and you go, more. <laughs> yeah. You do that anyway. Like yeah. And they're like, yeah. okay, sorry. And they bring you the whole block. <clears throat> I'd like to do it for things that are not necessarily like commands, but just like to add emphasis to words that really shape people to their core so that mm. you could just be like, um, yeah, no, um, I'll, have, I'll have some more potatoes, thanks. Bitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> They're all practical. I'm really sad. I would use it to, on myself in the morning. I'd be like, get, get up. up. <laughs> <laughs> a little mirror. Like, keep to myself. Or maybe just random words in sentences. Every day is a new day. <laughs> random words You're doing in great out <laughs> Love <Ra> yourself. <laughs> Live, love, love. <laughs> Or like random words and sentences to strangers. So like you're at the bus stop and you're like, when's the next bus coming? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, you, oh no. Elsa is that like in a, the chat? Just Tug away. And then suddenly they're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't oh. ask questions. That's the point. Is it? Is it? It's just command. But no, Isn't it, it's but more that, was command. A, that was a command. I thought yeah. the Bene Gesserit command. command. Yeah. I read that tweet and I thought the Bene Gesserit voice was actually like the whispers. Oh. Not, the, not the commanding one. So I was like. Oh, that's sweet. It's like <laughs> it's like like that's a pervasive thought. It's no. like, but it's, it's a it's yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyway, what we've been playing. Thank you, Nicrotex. Much love. Uh, kiss, kiss. 
We have been playing games. Peter, you've been playing games. Go first. Play. I've been playing a game. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? Uh, you've been doing a Are preview. You you've been previewing a game. I have been previewing a game. That's right. I've been previewing Rise of the Ronin, a PlayStation exclusive by Team Ninja. Uh, it is uh, out next week, and it is Team Ninja's latest Souls-like game. Mm. This plays... Somewhere between Sekiro and Assassin's Creed. Uh, I can't Ooh. talk about the game too deeply because it is preview and it's still embargoed too deep into the game. Sounds but like Ghost of Tsushima. It is, I mean, obviously going to be compared to games like Ghost of Tsushima, um, but it has been getting a little bit of flack for how it looks um, with Team Ninja being, you know, one of those on the on the top end of the, tr the AA development yeah. kind of categorization. Um, they churn out games pretty quickly, and this game doesn't have heaps of polish in its look, but it is a massive open world uh, Ronin game. It is set in a time in Japan where uh, they kind of had just come, they're feuding a lot. They're feuding. They're, yeah, uh, the fetal Japan. <laughs> um, they're just at their infancy. Uh, no, they've been closed off to the rest of the world and just started letting Western civilization come in. Uh, so British and American ships uh, kind of in, uh, invading, not invading, I guess, uh, um, kind of influencing the politics of Japan, uh, mostly through like the power of trade. Um, so it is this really interesting, rich part of Japanese history where it started to open itself back up to the world and there's so much like beautiful Japanese culture that is getting torn down by mm. the Western guns mm. and and that influence of all the, all the trade that comes through. Uh, but ultimately this game is about its combat and uh, Team not Ninja... Not trade. Not trade. <laughs> Team Ninja have always had a very good approximation of what a Souls game feels like with the added uh, element of the stances, a bunch of different weapons that you kind of uh, uh, become proficient at as opposed to uh, a Souls game where you... Well, I mean, you do become proficient at, at, in weapons, but you do a lot of run-throughs of Souls games, whereas this feels like a story that's much more fleshed out than a Souls game. There's lots of cutscenes, lots of character. So you basically pick a couple of weapons at the start and you develop those by learning new styles of combat with them and in an RPG way, collecting better versions of those weapons. Uh, and the other really cool thing about this is that you're part of, at times, part of a pair of fighters. Mm. So you can jump between two fighters, like. Your, your player character and your um, companion, and that companion might have different sword fighting styles to you as well. So they're often pairing a, a, a companion character with a boss fight that's coming up that you're gonna probably wanna use their type of fighting uh, to, to clear. Um, it is a massive open world. Uh, it is, um, you quickly get a horse, you then very quickly after that get the ability to glide. So there's a lot of traversal and stuff, and you can kind of choose where you want to go. I mean, how are you gliding? Uh, you get like a, a paraglider. Paraglider. Kind of so it's because it, I was a, a little parasol. I was watching <laughs> this not... thing making the comparison, obviously, to Ghost of Tsushima as a recent game, yep. and going like that was pretty. That was realism, and then suddenly there was an attack here that involved a backflip and a front flip, almost in the same thing. So there is some hyper stylized. I mean, I can do that. Fair call. And this, this is, and this is much more. Um, this is much more HUD heavy as well. Mm. Yeah, this is a. Yeah, again, trying to be... It's a Team Ninja game. It is mm -hmm. it is as close to a Souls game as they come, basically, yeah. Yeah. Uh, without being from from software. Um, and I'm really enjoying it so far. The, the uh, combat is really satisfying. It's heavily based on um, a parry mechanic and a, and a stagger mechanic. So in that way, it feels very much like Sekiro to me. Uh, and Sekiro, like, in hindsight, is maybe my favorite from software game mm. i really really love what sekiro does it's to that formula one of the best character creators i've ever Sekiro? yeah i don't remember even creating a character in sekiro oh my gosh you know what they had they had the little um what my friend refers to as slut strands oh, in the front but diva. like multiple layers that you could add like... yeah but it's a from game so you put a helmet on and you never see them again <laughs> yeah. you never well, see you those in sekiro i didn't sekiro you 
You didn't make a character. No, insecure. you're. A, you're. A, I think you must be mixing up with another what one. What am I, I think. thinking of? What am I thinking Elden of? Elden Ring. No. There's Ghost of Tsushima. There's Sekiro. Ninja Gaiden. No. No, no, they're no, all no. um. What was it? It was like it was. I'm sure it was Sekiro. No, you play as a predetermined character in that, and yeah. in Ghost of Tsushima as well. What yeah. Am I thinking so. of? Whereas in Dark Souls. Are you thinking Wild Hearts? Uh, no. Neo. 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 Yes. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah, you. Thank yeah. you. Well, I mean, yeah. That's you, Neo was you, made by Team Ninja. You create. It's a Team Ninja game. Yeah. In this game, you'll be able to do the same slot strands. I'm sure. Because there is quite a comprehensive uh, character creator. I didn't spend a lot of time. This is my character. I just hit random a bunch of times and it gave me this. Nice battle ponytail. Um, but it's a cool the character. The Grey Wolf. The Grey Wolf, yeah. I, I was like, it did create yeah. basically Sephiroth. Siri. Uh, and I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying the massive longsword. You do this like cool flail as you as you do your parries. Can so you, you can actually do damage with it. Just on, just because the most interesting thing that uh, out of all of this, as someone who wasn't a huge fan of Sekiro after I got a few hours into it, the the setting up with another character, uh, when they, do you get double health or is that like if they're downed? Uh, you don't get double health potions, but you get double health So bars. can you, do you need to revive them if they go down? Yep. Interesting. Uh, but it's um, a little more forgiving than the Souls game and stuff as well. Like yep. it, you, it's, you can, I can just, I didn't realize this at the time. I can just run over to that character and press the heal button and they'll jump out. Um, but, but what you're seeing here is uh, Gonzo is this person that I'm fighting at the moment. Mm -hmm. Top bar, top health bar is their health. That oh, second is bar something. is their like um, their stance. Mm -hmm. um, it is a stamina bar. You, I spent you spend stamina when you attack. But the way that you break that down and reduce the maximum amount for those characters is to uh, parry in sequence yeah, okay. and and use heavy attacks and attack combinations. It's, re it's really quite cool. Um, is there magic? There's no magic that I've seen so far and I don't think it, it doesn't feel like there's going to be. Yeah. There's ranged weapons, there are guns. Mm -hmm. um, there are guns? You, can, you can roll that kind of class Rifles if you want. Stuff. Yeah. West, West, it's the Western infiltration. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Uh, there are shurikens and stuff, like you can get into all that stuff. But um, I was just playing, a, I had a... Uh, two sword setup and a long sword setup, uh, and I found myself gravitating towards a long sword setup. Mm. Uh, it's really brutal, which is what you want out of a sword fighting game. Yep. Yeah. Limbs flying everywhere. That happens, uh, and um, I, j I think I this guy had a gun, so I just shot a, a bunch then. Uh, and um, the world itself is, uh, in my eyes, quite beautiful and fun to move around it's a it's a little bit assassin's creed so i think people who have a bit of assassin's creed fatigue will feel that here of going like outposts that you go and clear, sure, clear yeah. and then yeah. and then the villagers come back in and make it more homely it's kind it's of been, like it's been getting mixed reviews or just opinions at the moment and i feel like a lot of that is less to do with the combat and the fighting and more to do with the fact that open worlds um and that assassin creed fatigue it was handled so well in ghost of tsushima is it has such a beautiful open world that i'm not yeah. saying this doesn't but there was a lot of that already <laughs> and that was a big game with great dlc that i think a lot of people have played a lot if, of so if they just concluded the ability to just take a pause and rest on a hill and compose a haiku then maybe they would have Follow some, swayed the yeah. reviews in the other direction that's a good point yeah. uh, people are people are the most negative thing i've seen about this game so far is bragging on how it looks I think um it looks fine. and it, it totally does and it's it, it's not something i was thinking about at all when i was but you mentioned again I'm this is in exciting combat. they're not triple a top tier versus like sony mm. like a sony supported publisher or like you know they Team are just like a double a publisher. that's exactly yeah. 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 Double a yeah. Developer. Yeah. so for that it's very very polished i would say yeah. it's yeah it's, I think it's, it's really cool as soon as something is branded a souls like though it gets compared to souls and i think as and then well, people are like oh it, this is another the same visual caliber the fact that it's a ps5 exclusive i think people have this expectation that if it's going to be yeah. a single next gen console exclusive you better be seeing some peach fuzz on that that's, face. that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's a great point a yeah totally yeah. i would yeah. can you not is there it a cooldown on the switching between characters because you can't just spam and like cut the enemies attack and confuse you can the but AI. it's like uh you, you can you can change as much as you like uh, th this is still early in the game, and I'm still learning the combat, basically. But um, I'm asking, how do I cheese it, Peter? Because that's what I do with Souls like. You probably I work can. You do spend a lot of the game alone, but like this was a mission that I basically approached, and this man was at the gate, and he was like, "Give us a hand, will you?" And I was so like, he's yeah, almost let's like the it. summons in From games, but like if you, but you're being totally. To but use there's them. way more character. Yeah, this is a companion that is now in the town with me. I can go and have dinner with them. I can then take them out on missions. So another dinner. 
Mm. to other dinners. So no, I, I, I love that as versus the summons is such a very gamey element in Souls. And then they're like, like, see you later. Yeah, they what literally it, finish the boss, do a little about, run around. And, just and, and like there's a bunch of choices, like dialogue choices and stuff, as you're about to see here. I could let this person leave or I could kill them. You know, things that potentially will have, you know, big RPG have consequences somewhere down the line. Yeah, I haven't. Cool. I haven't experienced any of that yet, but mm. that's what it feels like it's setting up to do. I don't know if it pulls you can that talk off. Through your issues. Companion yeah. romance? Companion romance for sure. Oh, I thought you were going to say no. I, look, well, I say for sure. I haven't I'm done it. Again. I haven't done it, but it's, it's building up relationships with companions. It's encouraging you to spend more time with them to build up that companion level. It's already playing with the realms of like, I could have, I could have had spent the night with a, um, uh, in, in a, with an escort yep. in this house. So, uh, I, and I chose not to, uh, to, so as to not offend my companion here. Just the, the panic glance at your wife. But I chose not to. I didn't do it. I didn't do Dude, it. I'd be banging everyone. I know you no, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't bang the escort. Because Peter did I was the like, honourable thing. He went home. I'm, yeah, he talked. I, I, we, we, went and back, then he went, I, we were hanging out with the companion. See what the companion wants to do. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Maybe go out to oh, dinner yeah, yeah. or something. No, I'm very, I'm big on like uh, choosing your allegiances and like, like I'll, I'll mess around a bit at the start, but once I've, uh, once I've set my heart on someone, faithful. Fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, loyal. Like in the uh, the Witcher uh, expansion when they threw that other chick at you, um, I was like, no, threw Triss forever. Chick. Triss forever. I will say the funniest thing that's happened in the game so far is the end of the tutorial. Um, you have your first boss fight, like the kind of setup to the game. You have your first boss fight. It is with an American on a ship just offshore. You do this really cool espionage mission where you're learn, learning like the stealth of the game. Cool. There's a heavy stealth element to the game. You're getting a bunch of like instant stealth kills and stuff like that so you can clear areas really easily. Get into a boss fight. The boss turns around. He's a you know in his sailor's outfit, like Western sailor's outfit, and he's like, ha, 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 I own this land now. And then it goes into the boss fight, and then the name comes up where Gonzo was once before, Matthew Perry. Oh no! Oh my! So okay, Mitch. Rest Mitch over the TikTok chat says, "I hate, I hate how." <laughs> yeah, Mitch first, mentioned the it. first boss in this game is literally Matthew Perry. I thought, <laughs> yeah. I thought he meant that as hyperbole that he looks like Matthew Perry, <laughs> no, but dude, his name is actually dude's, Matthew Perry. The, well, the dude's name is you, Matthew Perry because he you creep onto the ship and right, he turns uh, right, right. he turns rest around. In peace, rest in peace. And he's like. So no one told you life was gonna be this way, yeah. and comes at you with swords. He doesn't. Of course yeah. he doesn't. Oh my gosh! You said that so like, seriously. He's like, he's like, could I be any more in nineteenth century <laughs> Japan? Am I right? Oh I was like, maybe boy. someone on the team was just like a really big Friends fan. and was really like rocked by his death, and was like, how? I we, mean, that's how, very how possible. How we best make tribute to this man? <laughs> that is very. It's very possible. Ronan nine hundred two one. Oh wow! Bravo! <laughs> okay. Bravo! Wow! Okay. Wow! We were uh, incredible. Okay. Do you, would this apparently, this is apparently is that history. Commodore Matthew Perry was the first. Okay, amazing. That's crazy. It was a real guy. A real guy. There you go. Uh, Still funny. Still funny. <laughs> Still funny. Do you think you're coming back to this on full release and playing more? Because you play a lot of these games, and so therefore I don't think it's on an honest new to be like you would enjoy and therefore play all of it. Or is this like just a little bit under the quality level of, or not quality level, but. I, look, I actually think it, I thought I would find it exhausting because of playing Elden Ring yep. only two years ago. <laughs> and it's so big. That, it still that game was you. so big. And it, like, I feel, I still mm. feel. If a Souls game came out today, I'd be like, oh no, I have to play it. And Shadow of the Erd Tree is coming up. This game has, um, it doesn't have the, it doesn't have the um, hook of Elden Ring and Souls games of being like um, the mystery and weird the, mystery yeah. and that's the interesting part of it. It just has a lot of story, story. and the story is actually cool and the characters are like, it's fun to engage with the characters because it's, it takes itself seriously, but it's, a, there's still some playfulness to it and uh, it's just a beautiful place to be. Yeah. So it's um it's a cool setting. So I'm interested because of that. That if if I play more, I'll be compelled to because of that, the story and the characters and stuff. Yeah, cool. Um, oh, it's YouTube chat. That's thank YouTube you, on the Thank yeah. you for clarifying. <clears throat> cool. The Rise of the Ronin coming out next week. What a Ronin! I'm really bad at this. Ronin. A uh, Ronin is a masterless samurai. Cool. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. I'm pretty. I sure. was going to say angry samurai. But it might be that they're masterless. Yeah, they're masterless. They don't have master. Yeah, okay. I'm pretty sure that's the T. What's um, a shogun? They're the mm. they're, they're armored. 
Well, they're the ones samurai with the, the on the battlefield, armor. I yeah, thought. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think they do have the hectic masks. Okay. They're the hectic hats. And the hats, yeah, yeah. Mm. They were all about that fashion. Military dictator. And what am I? You're Pete. You're a guy. Weeb. Weeb. Cool. Yeah. Who's yeah. next? Me, I think. Yeah, who's running this? Me. I, I, I never know. Who is running? I'm pretty sure it's me. You. Yes, it is. I tried the Princess Peach Showtime demo during the, I was about to say Monday, but it was Wednesday. It was yesterday. It was last night. Stream. I have been waiting for this game ever since it was announced because that's how things work. I'm like, and I'm nervous for you. I hope this was everything you wanted it to be and more. So... Hated it. Psych is what I would say <laughs> if I was lying. So this game, basically, obviously you are Paige and you arrive at this theater. You're going to see a theater show. How exciting. These little fellas, by the way, are called Theets. What? They're Theets. Okay. Theets at the theater. Oh, yeah. Theets at the theater. And you, a little Princess Peach, uh, you're going to see a show. Uh, but then something crazy happens. The most diva diva you will ever diva comes in and causes trouble. And she's uh, closed down the theater. She's filled it with her little lackeys. And so it's your responsibility as Princess Peach to go into each of the theater shows, get rid of the lackeys and collect the sparkle gems. And the sparkle gems make you stronger, give you more sparkle power. And basically what the, the, so with the demo, there were only two levels that you could try. They were the sword fighter level and the baking level. <laughs> nice, and, um, nice, nice contrast. Well, that's the thing. Complete contrast because I was under the impression that like, I, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting, uh, I wasn't expecting the worst. What I did think they were gonna do was like have these different outfits, but these different outfits would just give you different fighting powers. Mm. Um, but instead in the sword fighter, you do get sword. You, you have your magical girl Sailor Moon transformation type business. Amazing. And you get given your sword fighter outfit, which is absolutely so slay. And it's sword fighting and, and you're, you're fighting the little lackeys and you're cutting down these uh, thorny tentacles that you can see. And cleaning up the place. Side scroll. Uh, it's a side scroll. Yeah, you're si scrolling across a stage. Gotcha. Uh, it's it's all set on stages. The reason why there are uh, everything lo looks like sets, and why there's these uh, ten those tentacles that oh, look shit. like cardboard mm. is because it's supposed to be a stage production. That's great. Um, and so your different costumes are for different performances, Damn, but they also fabulous. give you different, uh, you know things to do and this outfit obsessed slay mario never had a sword but she does mm. and she looks so good uh and yeah so so each level requires you to uh play through different performances this one's a sword fighter one so you're doing classic sword fighting this one's especially nice because she's always been a princess who's trapped in a castle and now she gets to be the prince this is very like sleeping beauty where she's cutting yeah. down the thorns and stuff and she's the hero of her own story exactly and what i found really really cool about sword fighter peach was uh like to to set things off game play wise quite easy mm. but i found a really cool thing that when she was playing when she was sword fighting uh, if you hit or move at just the right time, you'll, uh, you'll, uh, uh, what's the word? You'll dodge a move, uh, sorry, dodge an attack. But as you dodge, you become like this, like see-through blue peach and it goes like slow-mo oh. and it's so freaking Like she cool. has a matrix moment. You yeah, peachy. yeah. I hope it, I hope it shows up in the f footage cause it's so sick. But yeah, this is like a standard sword fighting level. It's quite delightful. Uh, and then the other mode that you get is baking peach. And if we could scrub forward, that'd be really great. But that was the little dodge there. Yeah, 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 you could see there the little dodge. Yeah, it's cool. so delightful. Then there's baking peach. And with baking peach, it's completely different. That's awesome. Completely different. You get in one of the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I want this outfit so badly. Uh, and it's a bunch of baking mini games. Yep. So in this first baking mini game, you have to uh, uh, mix around the ingredients and stop at just the right time to make a bunch of bickies. And you you want to get it 
as big as you can to make the most bickies. Uh, but if you make it too big, then it'll blow you up. Mm -hmm. And uh, you need to do it in a certain time frame. Fill up that bar. If you fill it up to the top, you get that many sparkles. So no gems. combat. It's it's a total that it's a total different stage with a different costume and a different game mode altogether. So it's not yeah. like these are spins on one play style the yeah. whole way through. This is you going. Oh, they've totally added a whole different game type, yeah. and potentially that's what's in the rest of the game with the different modes. It's yeah. not here's we, a different outfit and a weapon. Do we yeah. know how many different modes there are going to be? So there is so far. Let's see how my memory holds up. There is. Baking Peach, Sword Fighter Peach, uh, Ninja Peach, nice. um, uh, like that's Big the, Hero. That's, that's the Souls like. That's the Souls like. Yeah. Uh, Big Hero Six Peach, Mermaid Peach, um, Detective Peach. Detective Peach. Uh, oh, this is, these are cool. Uh, uh, there's another one. So it was, you said Kung Fu Peach. Kung Fu Peach. There's Kung Fu Peach yeah. and Ninja Peach. So Kung Fu Peach and Ninja Peach. Two different yeah. Figure That's skater peach. Figures, oh, figure oh. skater yeah. peach looks amazing. Mighty so peach cool. would have been the mech cowgirl one. peach. Cowgirl peach. Whoa, mermaid peach. There's so yeah. many. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's so so many, and there could be more. There could be Ooh. more. That like there could be that exact amount, but there could be more. It's just what they've shown Dashing us so far. Dashing thief peach. And just based on like, you know, all these different types of peach, uh, it feels like you're going to get a truly different experience every time. It's nice. like... It looks... That is very sales pitch, but I'm with you on that, that line. Yeah. It's right sales pitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I absolutely uh, love this day. Yeah, I mean, like, it's super... It looks like a, uh, a WarioWare, like, mini game collection, but they're maxi game collections. Yeah. Like, a bunch of well thought out mini games like almost like the Mario Party stuff by the looks of this yeah. also like would make it look for, so pretty it'd well. make for such a good drip feed mechanic not knowing what they all are and going I want to finish this stage even if it's not my favourite and again I'm talking from our perspective as probably not the audi the main audience I know mm. you enjoy a lot of this and that's great but even just age group a lot of those Nintendo games do target lower and then their, their appeal is broader but knowing to be like ah the, the baking mini games not my thing but I'm kind of keen to know what Cowgirl Peach one is. Oh, it's, yeah. it's maybe lassoing and riding, and it's you know, yeah. it's got more like mounted rides and stuff. This I mean, this looks game, amazing. This mini game was a pain in my ass because you you get given a time limit for this one and and all of them, but this one in particular oh really God. got me. Uh, this is not my playthrough. I tried really hard, but um, uh, in this mini game, you have to. Put, yeah, put the frosting down in the same as the picture and it gets harder and harder with every cake that you're given. And it got to a point where uh, I was absolutely cheesing it. Like, like I, I was trying my hardest. This is my favorite one because you just have to stand there. But it's oh, just Japanese developers know how to make pet t like desserts look amazing. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like it's, oh, it's just every, so attention to oh, detail blue. with food stuff is so, so good. All of the two three peaches. That's uh, a perfect cake. Creations looked delectable oh my God. absolutely I'm delectable watched. um so i i really loved it i i think i'm gonna absolutely love this I game love that she's on a release, little swing. the whole time yeah, yeah. yeah. damn charming everything I, about it really well. really got to me oh. um, very cool and, and so i played that last night i will say I does your progress carry over I hope so. Yeah. But if not, I'm fine with I was playing. Because of all Nintendo game. games have been doing that recently, and it's been a great help for those longer form. Like mm. this would be like, no, I want to go back. I, I'm mm. like, I can master the cakes. Do yeah. you know? And maybe the demo didn't give you a look at this because sometimes Nintendo games are like easy to play, hard to master. Is there any replayability through stages? Like, go back and do that sword fighting one. Yes, if you miss any sparkle gems, because yep. because uh, uh, it's a bit of a collectathon in these in okay. these levels. You have to collect all the sparkle gems by doing different tasks. Mm -hmm. um, um, and if you missed some, you can go back and play it again. Okay. Um, I will say. I meant more does that they often have like a hard mode or something too, maybe? which they could. I don't but know I if just... they showed it off in the demo. I, I didn't say anything like that, yep. but uh, it, it could happen. It could be the tea. I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. I think it was noticeably, uh, in my eyes, uh, I found the gameplay style a lot more uh, uh, interesting than Super Princess Peach, which very much just kind of felt like. They were trying to do another platformer, but also trying to be like, um, how is bitches uh, emotional? So they went for <laughs> Super Princess Peach, but uh, with Princess Peach Showtime, it's just a, a beautiful performance, and she I love it. There's she more can than be anything. She can be a detective and a thief. Love exactly. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I wonder if also, she catches herself. Oh my god. Yeah. 
Yeah. Also, like, arguably Mario games are running that same treadmill of just reinventing the same platformer to go, let's not just do that with another mascot, but let's create a new play style, yeah. which you could add whole set new sets of costumes. The play aesthetic is fantastic yeah. Yeah. and, like, has such cutesy appeal, but at the same time, it's clever. Yeah. And that's just, like, what could lead to a franchise of there being more of these games, which is what Nintendo mm. does. They iterate and make... Yeah. And it's what Peach deserves, damn it. Exactly. Damn right. And I will also mention that I also played a game called The Unicorn Princess was a about five dollars on the Nintendo eShop, and it Jesus. was terrible. Uh, it was scary. <laughs> That's the... where these screenshots were from. <laughs> um, it was scary. It was horrible. Uh, it's made by some random. Uh, Oh, and nah. that's not what it looks like. Uh, but it's made by yeah. some German developer. Um, <laughs> there is like so much voice acting, clearly all done by AI, um, and Wait. they do not stop the yapping. They keep talking. It's horrible. Around, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. you're right. Yeah. They Never play this. Yappy, yappy, yappy. Like robots. <laughs> well, that's me. That's crazy. <laughs> that's that's you. Anyway, that's so good on you. Thank you. Yeah, I, uh, I made it myself. But that's it. I don't want to talk about this game anymore. Pooey. Pooey, get it out of here. The horse looked at me funny, and I do not think that's okay. <laughs> All right. No more horsing around. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Steph, Peaches. what have you been doing in your game? Oh. <laughs> well, well, I was going last on account of the fact that... No, you're going That's now. exactly what we didn't say. Oh. So the opposite. Uh, no, I thought we said the opposite no, of that. You said you, said, you said you can go last... Because you 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 can trail off for as long as you like and all the stuff that you want to talk. Or about. did you say don't go last because you will trail off for as long as you like? Uh, okay, yeah. this Step. is your way of keeping me in check. Right. Speaking of horsing around, <laughs> segue. Oh yes, um, I play I played Cowgirl Peach in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> That's what's up too. Oh yeah, she can be anything. For those of you who've been following my Red Dead Redemption roleplay journey. Uh, I have a new character. Mm -hmm. I love I love Winnie Baylor. I, I love Winnie Baylor forever. <laughs> she, she's great. Um, just a, a, a difficult to keep that up the accent and uh, and the energy. Yeah. So I decided to roll a different character. Her name's. Ta take us there. Mm. Her name's Ivy Brightwell. Oh my. I fucking hate that voice. It's like there's a stranger living in my house. <laughs> I, I hate it so much. <laughs> I can, I know how cringe it must be. He comes, I can see him coming with this expression on his face, like, as he like shuts the door when he's going to bed. And I'm like, no, but because when I came on a boat from England, he's <laughs> just like trying Stephanie, to- Stephanie, don't apologize. Life. Continue. Yeah, okay. Continue so, with the- So <laughs> I'm, play, I'm playing as- As her. Allow that message from TJ. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did that for eight hours yesterday because I'm obsessed with this game. So I've been, I've been uh, super obsessed. I think the people that have been um, in my streams, um, they, <laughs> they've kind of followed my journey and, and um, gone from like uh, curious to excited to worried, um, which is totally fair. It, it it definitely gets its hooks in. I think just because it um you know I've I've said this a few times before you know the the mud that I played was such a, a pivotal gaming experience for me and this is the closest thing I have found to that. Mm. Um, it's a it's a modded version of Red Dead Redemption Two and um, uh, this particular server has an application process to get in. So the caliber of role play is really high and everyone thinks it's super serious. So this character that I've created now um, is is a high, a high society British lady. Can Ooh. I quickly ask, how f f open are they adding new characters and changing? Like, are you allowed? You do you have, have a certain you, amount of character you, slots? You can have up to five, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. okay. And and I, for me, I was like, I don't know how you keep track of, because I've already recounted stories that I'm like, one time I did this thing. I'm like, shit, that was, that was the other person. Like, I've, I've referenced things. Sometimes I'll meet people You're and like, I'll be like, hey. For each of them. And then they'll be like, hello. And I'm like, Oh shit, we haven't met. You, you know? just go, I met you in a past life. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there's been a few moments where I've been like, oh shit, like I have to keep track. So there's yeah. people that have multiple characters and I don't know how they do it. Mm -hmm. But I've realized that the reason why it would be useful is because most people usually have a criminal character and a law character oh. or at least a lawful Detective character. Detective Peach and Thief Peach. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because um, any criminal stuff that you get, up, you get up to in this game, usually, it, you know, if you get caught, it, it results in jail time, which means real world... <laughs> Jail time, and you can either role play. What are you laughing at? I'm just thinking of you going, ah, oh, getting chased into a building, and then changing hats and coming yeah, out yeah. like, well, I didn't yeah, find you. I'm back in it. The <laughs> and they're like, Damn, oh, it's the old man here. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Yeah. So when you get caught, you go to you go to prison. You can yeah. either go you either go to local jail. You do a few nights in the local jail. If it's if it's hard jail time, like if you've um if you shot someone, mm -hmm. then you go to Cisco, which is the like a hectic prison. Oh, the maximum there, security yeah, prison. Yeah, and the there's, 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 uh, there's the prison Rikers guards Island. there and everything. 
they'll shave your hair off. Like it's a whole like traumatic oh, experience. That's like, sick. And, oh my and, God. and depending on, on what your crime is, you get sentenced to a certain amount of jail time, which is real world time that you cannot leave. You use the that prison. character. Amazing. So you can literally, you could log in every day and just be role playing in a prison cell or like around the yard. Pretty boring. Most people will do it once or twice. Yeah. Do you get to play ball in the yard? You get, you get to do a few different things, I you think. You get a Kick stick ball. that you can run yeah. along the big, bars of you. There's these big <laughs> fucking crocodiles that circle the island what? as well. So if you try to escape, because oh you goodness. can break people out. I was out. gonna yeah. say. It's, it's really, it's full on. But so what most people do is they'll then change to their other character while their other, while their, you know, outlaw character serves their time. While they're yeah. in. So that is where it kind of gets useful. So I can see, I can see how that would be useful. But for me, I'm just trying to focus on the one character. So I'm sticking with this one for now. Um, so I, I, always envisioned this, this character would go down a, a criminal route because I thought it would be cool for her to be a, a British society lady who's had to kind of um, Change start, start a new life and, and throw herself into a world that she knows nothing about. Mm. And um, that's helpful for me being pretty Gumby because, you know, she's like, oh, I don't know how to do anything. And I'm just like searching through menus being like, how the fuck do I do this? Um, and uh, it's been great. I've met so many different people and uh, it's just been really wonderful to forge relationships with this character. And the more time that I've spent in the game, the more I've started to learn where and how to kind of find those role play encounters and and um and and seek out more opportunities, so I'm not just kind of like riding around being like, what what the what do I do now? What have you learned in your playing a second character? What have you learned from the first character that you brought over into this experience of starting a new one? I definitely think like my first character was very sort of silly and memey because I was like, that's what's going to be fun in a role play scenario, and I always take role play too seriously. Turns out this is the most like serious role play server there is, and actually, it's better. You're better off making a character that has at least a a, a serious side to them, so that you can kind of get in. It's it's like it's such a soap opera. Like the amount of um you know drama stories and conflicts and things that are happening at any given moment. It's so hard to keep track of, and the amount of people that I've spoken to out of game who are like, yeah. I've uh, I role play a character that it's the that's pretty much known as the most dangerous outlaw on the crossing, and I'm like I've heard that like eight or <laughs> eight or nine times now. Oh <laughs> yeah, you and who else? You should be you should do yours as I'm the eighth most <laughs> the yeah, most like dangerous character. Yeah, yeah. It is so, known. So um, I couldn't just suddenly you know flip a switch on this character and make her rubber bank you know after she's just arrived off you know a, a boat from England, mm. es grow. escaped from yeah. a escaped from a a. a a bad a marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and so her kind of dipping her toe in is that she started learning how to make moonshine and do moonshine runs. Awesome. Because the lawful jobs are pretty boring and they're not very lucrative um, to be expected. What year is this set? Uh, I believe it's I like- I remember, Red Days. Uh, 2006. Early, like 1900s. <laughs> uh, yeah, like 1920. Is it Prohibition era? No, 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 it's like eight, 18. I thought it was, yeah, like 1800s. Uh, oh yeah, like eight, I think it's- um. 19th century. Uh, yeah, like eight, late, late, late 1800s. Yeah, yeah, okay. But but still, but moonshine is is illegal. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So to, so to make moonshine, you have to go out and you have to gather the materials. Mm -hmm. You have to then brew it and then you have to into a mash and then you have to go take the mash to a distillery, which are in these kind of underground speakeasies, which are hidden all over the map, um, which I didn't know that they were there until I um, – started getting in with the criminals and they showed me all these secret locations and these cottages that I've ridden past a million times that I'm like, I thought that was just a little house and it had a little speakeasy downstairs and a little cool. still and stuff. Ah. Really, really awesome. Why did it say Rob's ears? Okay. So that's what you do when you're... Um, oh, that's how you check if someone's alive? No, that's uh, that's a signal for when your um, uh, pusher talk is, is playing up. I see. Because you have to use Teamspeak, this, uh, this like right. cursed version of Teamspeak and... Um, and <laughs> In this instance, this is a character that <laughs> this is a character that I met <laughs> previously, and um, and we'd had this most epic adventure together, making moonshine and stuff like that. And then I logged in because there's no way to know when people are online and stuff like that. I'd logged in and I decided to go to Saint Denis to buy a new gun. And as I was riding, I literally saw this body on the side of the road, and I like slammed the brakes on my horse <laughs> and like did this like Tokyo drift skid. And I got off and was like, "Is that like an NPC that someone's like robbed and they're like dead or like what's the deal?" And then I walked up to it, and um, it turned out to be this this guy that I role played with yesterday. And he, and he was like, "Holy shit! I've been here for like, well." He told me afterwards, "I'd been there for an hour waiting for a ranger to come and collect me because when we play." at a Australian time zone time, there's not a lot of people on. So if you die, mm. you could be there for a long time. Holy shit. And if you oh don't um, wait for help, then you lose all your shit. So a lot of times I just have it logged in waiting yeah. on another screen, just hoping someone will come. Wow. Um, and I found him. So it was just like complete coincidence that I came across him in that moment. 
And um and yes, unfortunately my my team speaker crashed, so I had to go through this whole thing of trying to like fix it. And then I'm gonna go. And... I'll go over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so um so, so we went on another mission to um to Bruce and more moonshine. And um when we went into Saint Denis to to start this whole kind of process of brewing the moonshine, we we brewed a bunch of mash, we'd uh, we turned it into moonshine, and we were gonna go out and and find a job to deliver it. And during this process, I was like, well, I was going to buy a gun while I was in here. And I know there's good guns in St. Denis. Yeah. And I was like, but I'm just, I'm still pretty like Gumby at, at using the gun. Um, and so he was giving me a lesson on how to like defend myself. And so um, he was like, okay, when you're fighting against other people, you just, you pretty much always need to shoot from the hip. If you try and aim down sights, unless they're really, really far away, um, it just wastes too much time. So you just need to get really good at shooting from the hip. There's no reticle on screen. So you just have to kind of guess where the bullets are going to go. Right. And you're not, you don't have a sight to That's guide you. That's great. So he was like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the door and I'm going to get you to pull your gun out and shoot from the hip as fast as you can. But obviously we'll take the bullets out. And I was like, great, okay. When you're in cities, you can't really pull guns willy-nilly. Like yeah. the, the law are really intense about <laughs> it. And, um, and you know, they they will you know get shitty if you're doing that mm -hmm. we were in this gun store and there weren't a lot of people around so we're like fuck it let's just do it we're in a gun store that's we're what you're to do we're just use guns yeah we're just trying the guns yeah try before so you we, buy yeah so we were setting up this whole kind of scenario and um uh as we were sort of uh playing out the scene and we were practicing all these different things um a person came in right as we were kind of like in the we're midst of this, yeah we were in the midst of this really weird interaction where he was like pretending to attack me and i was like i had my gun out and he had his gun out and stuff and this person was like uh hello and we were like oh so sorry this is a bit awkward and and, and we were like introduce yourselves i was like oh i'm ivy and um she's like i'm deputy so-and-so and we were like mm. uh. and she was just like is everything okay and we were like oh well we were just going through this situation we we're practicing shoot she's like there's better places you could do that i will take you and we were like oh, okay, that's nice. And we were like, you know, we don't actually uh, have our horses here. So, and she's like, that's fine. I can rent you a wagon um, just as long as we, I, we get you there safely. And we're like, oh, okay. So then she like, leaves to go and buy a wagon and Marty's like, we have so much moonshine on us right now. If anything happens, like if you um, uh, get hit or you fall or something like that, yep. um, law officers can see everything. They can see in your bags. They can, see, they can take, go to your bank. They can search your telegrams. They have access to all of your shit. So oh if they, God. if we got caught with moonshine on us, it's disaster. Over. So we were like, fuck. After we, crocodile we have, prison. Yeah, we have, to, <laughs> oh we have to play it cool. So the whole time we're just, we're trying to like find a way to ditch this moonshine and be sneaky about it and then go through this whole thing. It was a whole, it was a whole adventure. Amazing. Later on, we were trying to, uh, he was trying to get me to crack a safe so I can learn how to like do bank jobs and stuff like that. And um, it was just like, I don't know, the whole, th oh yeah, this is, this, this is the whole safe scenario. Um, this was one of the most frustrating hours of my life. I just saw that in your face then. <laughs> so this is just time spent trying to do a mini game to click, which is in the main game, but obviously just ratchet it well, up. It, and it's actually, it's such a, such a great way to simulate the real life experience. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. when you're doing a bank job, obviously that you've got people that are, you need to have a couple of people who are, you know, the gunners. And then you need to have someone who's going to negotiate with the, with the debt, with the law. And then you get to have people in there doing the safe and, mm. you know, getting all, all the shit out. Um, so it, it's you need to be you need to have absolute silence so that you can hear the little ticking. The the mini game for doing it is really really involved. H him trying to explain to me how it worked was difficult, and my ability to process information is it. bad. Oh, okay, right. So it was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank Christ! <laughs> <laughs> how much time did oh we just god. skip then? Oh my god! It was. I would say it was about an hour. Amazing. It was really. It was, and he was so patient, but like. And then also because I had chat there as well, it was just like conflicting information. I went back and watched the VOD afterwards. It was like, oh, I can see now what he meant by clockwise when I was talking about counterclockwise. <laughs> Fucking hell. It was a, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. <laughs> no, but like, okay, listen, listen. When you say turn. But you're British, so it goes the other way. No, I was like, which way are you Clock turning the dial? And he said clockwise. But so are when you, you. When you, that means. Clockwise. Yeah, turning. But the, the face of the, of the numbers were moving clockwise because you were turning the dial the other way. Do you know what I mean? So I can see how people were saying that. Well, I can see how the people would say that. It's difficult. It's, Josh, play the footage again. <laughs> no, it's, very, it's difficult to describe. Enhance. <laughs> but I maintain that I was right, but I also understand. That you'd been playing for eight hours and it may have been three in the morning. Yeah, it was a it was it was a, <laughs> it was a long experience. What I will say, uh, apart from just all of the the fun 
journey of, of going down the criminal path, which everyone was like, you've got to play a criminal character because it's, it's what's fun about this game. Um, and it, t it totally is. And it's wonderful being, especially <coughs> playing with players who've been in there for a long time, yep. who are like, it's fun to show people the ropes. There is this kind of wonderful thing around, um, I guess, the coded language around how you you speak to each other when yep. trying to reference things that aren't in the and game. And you've told us that it was something you had to get to grips with at the start because you can't just say, I'm going to a pause menu, I can't do this. It has to be like... Yeah, that. but it's also like... Um, and I, ho I hope you won't mind me telling this story, but um, it's, it's, there's things like, um, you know, this, this guy that I'd met that I'd spent, you know, the, the last couple of days with, um, I'd, I'd not met him before, but everyone seemed to know who he was. So I was like, oh, is, I, I, I haven't met you before. And he's like, yeah, I've, I've just been up north for a while. And I was like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, no, I've, 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 uh, I've been in the crossing for a few years, but I just had to spend some time away. And I was like, oh, okay. And then later on, I was like, so you mentioned that you'd spent some time away. Like, are you glad to be back? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I just, um, you know, sometimes uh, I have to go back up north because things just get a little bit difficult and I have to deal with things up there and it can be really tough um, and I want to spend more time here. But um, Up north is real uh, life. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, he's like, up north, sometimes things just get a bit out of control and so I just need to deal with things. And I was just like, oh, no, I get that. Mm. I get that. And he's like, but yeah, like ultimately uh, this is where I want to be. But, um, you know, I, I do my best to try and keep things calm when I can. Yeah, right. And I was so, just like, and he's like, do you know what I mean? And I was like, yeah, I know what you mean. Well, it's kind of it, beautiful in the sense that then talking about coming back down south is a way to deal with being, spending time up north. And it's like juggling the two because totally. one is clearly an escape from the other. And it's quite literally an escape in like a metaphysical yeah. kind of yeah, way, which is yeah. wild. I just want to quickly say one thing is it's hilarious is watching, hilarious, sorry, like has been really interesting is that we all talk about wanting to get to like a ready player one state where it's like the best, the best form of being in a game is really being in it. It looks exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> like if we just in the fantasy sense of going, the best version yeah. of VR of being in a world where you pretend to be characters and play fiction it's like it's an investment it's a general like kind of like it draws on more than you would from just passively playing a game totally, totally. so it's like yeah I just and that was that was the other thing I think I, I asked because I was just like I'm really like sometimes I'm I feel like I'm having a, a tough time kind of um balancing things and um you know I feel like I'm I'm out here a, a lot and he was just like yeah there was a time when I felt like I just wanted to know what was happening all the time so I was just really you know, I just was really, um, I just wanted to be involved with all the things that were going on and I was trying to keep track of it all. Mm. Um, and that became difficult. And I was just like, yeah, I feel like I, I'm, I'm hitting that point. <laughs> and he was just <laughs> like, yeah, but you know, you just got to try and um, make good choices for yourself. And I was like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Steph, come back like, to the North. Log off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, do you want to join a logging corp? They're, yeah, they're, coming, yeah, they're yeah. coming through town. There's yeah, at least yeah. 10 days worth of play in that. Yeah. Oh, God. But I love it. I love it. And it's been nice um, having everyone um, uh, in chat kind of follow along with the story and stuff. And totally. they've, they've started watching other people's streams and stuff and, and updating me on what other characters are doing. So oh, We hope you have a healthy relationship with the North and the South going forward, Steph. <laughs> we'll get there. I'm working on it. I'm working we'll, on you'll it. You'll get there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gus, what have you been playing? Uh, I'll round this out uh, with a short one, yeah. but... Oh, Gosh, a good one. I've been having a really good time because recently I decided after some friends of mine have been playing a lot of Microsoft Flight Sim, they play with the famous Hot Asses, uh, which is the name for the throttle and oh, stick. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's hands-on throttle and stick, which is yeah. when you have a controller set up with a joystick and the throttle, uh, which Peter famously had a segment. Uh, famously. Famously with a title card. Everyone knows about it. I've hijacked said title card because this segment is Gus's hot ass. Up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Gus Rodold. <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> right yes, I, uh, I got myself uh, a second-hand hot ass, and not even a very technical, like the technical one, the cheapest one you can get, the Thrustmaster. Uh, <laughs> it's called that. It's uh, not. It, it, is. Is. it is. It is. It's, that's a yeah, brand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. When I worked at JB Hi-Fi, every time I'd see it, I'd go... <laughs> I yeah. have the Thrustmaster Xbox edition. You just have to take it off the end of the rod that does this yeah. constantly. Yeah. 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 Uh, and I got it because my friends, uh, one of my friends was in the Air Force uh, and ha is a pilot and the other one, and he have both been taking long flights together. And I was like, I want in on this. So uh, <laughs> I, I picked up one I picked up one secondhand. <laughs> However, uh, I thought this would work mainly with Microsoft Flight Sim because that's the game it's best tuned for. But I decided not to be flying around the planet Earth. I, however instead have been flying around the planet 
of Arrakis in a little uh, property that people are talking about these days in a little movie called Dune. You just got yeah, Steph yeah, to do this. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I love that that's where you go. That the, pl- the planning, the planning of these moments. That wasn't planned. That just happens if you say the word June. <laughs> I just need to think about you sitting at home being like, and then we can cut to a close up of me. <laughs> Spot on, Steph. Let me guess yeah. it. Incredible. Sorry? Let me test it. Go for it. That's good stuff. Uh, yeah, I've been playing the Microsoft Flight Sim expansion of the Danny, Danny Venue film. Of, that What's I will the film not, called? I will not say its name. What's it called, though? Do you want me to say it? No, uh, it's based on the Frank Herbert's novels. What's the novel called? Arrakis, also known as a different name. What month is stop coming it, up in stop three it. months? It was funny, and then you're ruining it, Peter. You're ruining what, it. What it's Dune. <laughs> I want to hear you say the name of the director again. Danny Villeneuve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she goes, no. <laughs> Danny Villeneuve. Danny Villeneuve. Uh, yeah, there is a expansion, uh, a free expansion for Microsoft Flight Sim that lets you fly around in an ornithopter. Um, they have done a couple of these movie time, or just the one actually with um, Top Gun Maverick that I talked about and I played a little bit of, and basically it's putting a jet in the real world and letting you fly it around. And that felt just like putting in a new vehicle. However, here they have done a really, really, really good job. You uh, get access to this vehicle which handles incredibly differently from an incredibly arcadey like versus all the simulated vehicles obviously being a fictional vehicle there was the um the halo, the halo pelican, uh, pelican as well also felt arcadey and cool yeah. you could you could take that into the so that's strategy. what this feels like but it still has its intricacies to its flight and how it feels to maneuver and with it you get a series of tutorials to learn how to fly it and a bunch of challenge missions that are all basically about this kind of stop and go flight where you need to get quickly to land pads land it like i think it feels probably a lot more like the helicopters in the flight sim mm-hmm. series of which i haven't flown around in um being that you need to lower your throttle and pull back quickly and try and land softly on um flat surfaces this is like the last thing i would have imagined as like a a crossover thing but it, it works it works yeah. so well the Steph. aircrafts in june are so cool they mm. were amazing when i think everyone saw june one and saw an ornithopter take off and the mm. sort of slow it's building up of the yeah of the sort of um dragonfly wings all the sound design is here and taking the palette a uh, design palette from microsoft flight sim and making a fictional world of arrakis is so perfect because yeah. it only just takes desert models and some great sunsets and some good time of day weather and you are instantly on Arrakis. Sweet, sweet spice. Oh, that spice Ooh, melange, yeah. baby. Uh, yeah. it, it feels straight out of the film, but also it is really addictive gameplay. Uh, that's every mission has a ghost uh, that you can do the timing with. Uh, and the I think it's eight missions that you get in total um, that you can fly around in. Uh, ra- they all basically are obstacle courses where you can do low flying through canyons and doing it with a joystick or if you do have a joystick set up for a PC or an Xbox um, is really, really fun. Uh, There's a button for landing gear and a button for like flaring your uh, your little chopper wings to do an instant stop, which you need to do on all of these because they are all about, as I said, stopping and starting. The coolest part is you would have seen before is that you can press a button and fold your wings back and go into a dive. And it is just as fun as it looks and as it feels uh, to see in the movie because the sound design is all there. Suddenly all the noise is just dissipates and you get this free-falling action as mm. you plummet off the edge of cliffs and it is paired with the soundtrack, the Hans Zimmer soundtrack from the movie and it just takes you there instantly. It's it's great to see something that tries to pick up something from a film and do it effortlessly. Well, not effortlessly, but like do it in such a way that just takes you there straight away. So the majority of these missions, as I said, are obstacle courses and sweaty little canyon runs, that kind of thing as well. However, there is the final mission that you need to undertake, and it is a rescue mission. And instead of just going, hey, here's a canyon from the uh, open world mapping system and a new aircraft, and we're just calling it Arrakis, there is a fully thought out, yeah, yeah, it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Um, You will do it all in the third person or the chase cam, I think, because I tried it in the cockpit view, and it's 
it's just like not the same level of immersion. It just it does sh- feel like sure, yeah. you're um, flying in any vehicle. Yeah. But Josh, if you wouldn't mind taking us to the last mission, I had, I'm going to say 30 to 50 runs of this because the last mission is a rescue mission that requires you to head to a downed pilot. You need to land exactly on top of him. When you do land, the little guy will run to your aircraft based on how close you are. And the whole time it's happening, a giant <gasps> sandstorm is just flying or is gonna, moving in on you. a sandworm. No, that would be great. <laughs> but I think that is beyond the Whoa. development tools from the Microsoft Flight Sim team. Instead, however, there is a very dramatic looking sandstorm off in the distance that is racing towards you. This is not a matte box effect. It is just absolutely gunning its way towards you. You need to fly towards it. You need to land and pick up the pilot. You need to then turn around and hoof it through a canyon. And then you need to get through that canyon in a way that kicks you out facing the storm, fly into the storm and land before touching it. And it is the sweatiest I've been playing a video game in years and the most fun I've had in a long time. This is insanely addictive um, because it is, it requires you to be basically spot on perfect. Um, This is where you do land and the little guy has to run to you. Get in. (laughs) Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, he got chopped up. and once he gets in and Josh, like, give us a little bit of the sound design if you can too in the room. The music just starts that, like, clicking to- uh, clicking clock, kind of like countdown music. The sound design, the, like, just the tenseness of it is all there. And I had such a good time doing this because you've also got afterburners, I should have pointed out as well, with a limited uh, fuel amount. You mean NOS? It's pretty much not sick. Um, and yeah, uh, there are a few people who've, well, there's a few, have posted their runs online to show actually just completing it because it is really brutally hard. Wow. If you, I'm not going to make this one because of how long that guy took to get in the aircraft. He did take a long time, I know. Oh, that's, yeah. it's, it's his fault. Then. It's mainly his fault. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, this is, it may, look, it oh, might not man. look like much, but I am just no absolutely way. dripping with sweat oh on like my, my 25th run no, at home. No, hectic. Uh, trying to get there. It is called the Coriolis Storm Rescue Mission. That is crazy. And, um, yeah, I thought at the start it was going to demand too much from me as being like, you have to do this perfectly. (laughs) Well, it was like, well, that's not fun then. It's just like... I thought I... I, That's not fun like a fishing simulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. (laughs) (laughs) Too late. Not going to get in. Oh, shit. You're flying right into that. Yeah, and there might be, what, for Dakin? Is that what they're called? I think so. No. Nah. Okay. And again, a- end of the next clip, Josh, will be a finish there, but it is just tense the whole way through. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, if you... if you, I tried this with the controller as well. It does feel really good. Yeah. Um, but it feels incredible with a uh, flight oh, yes. stick as well because of how... Um, Here you it, go. This is maybe my 48th run. Get in the hole. Get in the hole. In the hole. In the hole. It's so yeah. slow. <laughs> Framing, that's right. Thanks, Nicro. You're down far enough, this one. Once close you're in, close to the lid, the storm can't get you. Max says, I can feel the clenched buttocks from here. Oh, yeah. 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 Smooth landing. I genuinely thought this was going to be attacked on little mode that says, hey, here's no, a, some here's a reskin, that's great. Here's a reskin helicopter. But the other, um, the other runs you can do are uh, different times of the day. There's little spice harvesters around kicking off sand. There's been some real love and attention that's been put into this. And I'm really all for it because I'm really looking forward now to, I think it's June Awakening is the MMO that's coming out. Mm. Uh, Survival... Sorry? It's a survival game, right? It's a survival multiplayer online yeah, game, yeah. Rust yeah. kind of looking game. But yeah, this was just like, <laughs> I thought I was just going to play a little bit of it and then maybe talk about a different game. I spent all week playing this. Yeah. You just it need the awesome. um, Ben and Gesserit voice to get him into the... Yeah. Get in. Get in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it is a heap of fun and uh, especially fun if you've got a hot ass. Yeah. I do have a hot ass. It's so, in the cupboard. So, uh, it's a bird. It's a plane. <laughs> just run old. That's right. What the fuck was that? <laughs> I need to make one now with a Dune reference in it. Abomination. Yeah. He said Dune. Can we? Can we actually? Um. Can I get Steph to to say the to say the thing? <laughs> Dune two. La, 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 la. <laughs> Spot on. Yeah. Spot on. 
Oh man. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> oh god, delightful. So okay, so Pete, you played Wise of the Wonen. Me, I played Princess Peach Showtime. Uh, Steph, you oh, played Wed Deb Redemption <laughs> RP, uh, and uh, Gus, you played uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. Dun. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's what we've been playing. And now it's time for a freaking break. Here at Boxwell, we can box whatever you want. You got something that needs a box, we'll have the box for that thing. We can put books in boxes, um, put pillows in boxes, I put tins of black beans in boxes. Uh, I put uh, One time I put 32 VHS copies of the, the film The Boxer in a Boxwell box. Basically, you bring it in and we'll box it. Well, because we're Boxwell. Last week a lady came in with a wooden box and she asked me to put that box in a Boxwell box that was bigger. She didn't think I could put a box in a bigger box, but I sure as hell did. I put that box in a bigger Boxwell box and I showed her and she fucked right off. Put a body in a box. Uh, yeah, boxed a couple of bodies, yeah, yeah. No, not at work, not at work. Yeah, bo Boxwell boxes are the best quality boxes money can buy. Uh, so in order to protect that box, every time we box something in a Boxwell, we make sure to put that Boxwell in another box to protect the Boxwell box from being damaged by other shitty home brand boxes. No one takes boxes more seriously than us. Not even a Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Little uh, box joke there for all you box lovers. Michael B. Jordan, of course, uh, Michael Box Jordan uh, to his friends and family, of which I am one. I know him. So when you need it boxed well, use a box well, because no one boxes boxes like box well. Hey guys, Jep here. I'm in uh, Salamanca Place in Hobart, Tasmania, as you can see. Um, but what I want to show you today is through this door right over here with me. Something cool happens through here on a Wednesday. Tomato. Pee on him. Piss on him. Yeah. We're gonna check out a little game that is by an Aussie developer called Doggy Don't Care. Now, the tail. oh my god, I don't the tail. want to move. What are you in control of? I'm control of the dog in this scenario, Gus. I can jump, pick things up, and I can up. Yeah. <laughs> and then do a little wee. <laughs> is that a whistle? A kazoo. A kazoo. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Go to badge list. See if you can try and find the P badge. Just we. If anybody's gonna get a badge for pissing, it's this right here. Is that a little mouse? We oh, on we it. on it. Kobe. Oh! Oh, I need some speed. I mean, pugs aren't really known for their speed. Aren't they like not right in the head? They can't breathe. Hey, is this dog kind of all <laughs> fed up? Oh, uh, come on. Oh. Yeah. Hey! Welcome back to the show. Uh, it's it's weird sitting here because I can't turn left. Yeah, you can. I, I can, know. but it's hard for me to turn this way. We do why? I don't know. It just is. Did we even address that? Interesting. So you've been a bit different. Yeah. Mm. But the same. I'm my own. I'm I'm a body double for myself. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm. No the rumors are true. Wish. The rumors are true. I I am dead and I've been replaced with Ivy Brightwell. Ah. That's the worst thing to be replaced by. Don't do that <laughs> voice anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed. Abomination. <laughs> <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Jep, for the wonderful word that you gave us. Cut. Thank you so yeah. much to our favourite. We would never forget the love them to death, and it is. I was in the bathroom, Jep. Okay, so I have to pee sometime. We you will missed, never. You missed the Jep. We will piss. never forget you. Incorrect login details. <laughs> uh, well, then you you missed the word from Jep, which was a uh, word that Jep has submitted before. Singing the Halo tune so wonderfully down oh, in Hobart, I love that. Uh, but this was the trip oh. cut, uh, which I'd heard about on Halo Wednesdays, which was uh, that Jep took a fall. That was <laughs> not that was not staged. That was Jep oh. falling over at the end of recording that video. Went back and did a clean one, which we've played on the show before. That was the. But trip also, cut. can we just point I out, tripping that. while singing "ba ba ba ba" really undercuts the sort of heroic moment <laughs> yeah, of that yeah. song. That's but so wonderful good. work. The love master chief fell you. over. I, there was a, I think there was a great outtake from um, uh, E3 one year when I had a little GoPro and, and uh, Janet was just like, "Go run around the show floor and with the GoPro, and we can like use it as like a POV cam." Mm -hmm. And because I was looking at the screen of the GoPro, I just like tripped over some fucking bolt bollard thing or whatever and face like i got air and then skidded across the carpet that's like on content. my face and then immediately got up and <laughs> that's in the bloopers it was a bad yeah, it was a bad awesome. stack uh we also saw an ad for uh music for hire thank you so much and mm, no no we saw the boxy ad that might be the other way around well i was in the bathroom so i wouldn't know thank you so much <laughs> for throwing me under the bus yeah that's wrong that's fine it but guess whose ad's either. coming up in the next ad break woo woo Boxy. No. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Ah, God damn it. Dog uh, shit also, episode. Please follow us on social media. I know we say it a lot, but um, it really helps us if you share our stuff around. And um... uh, For example, if you could give some love to the Mario's <laughs> celebrity uh, dating history, Fuck, that'd be good. great. That's good. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> no one liked it. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was, I, I, I thought it was funny. I do it's appreciate cute. that we all take a little bit of ownership over an idea that was ours. It was Peter's. We all loved it. We worked, and then it was scattered amongst the team to make shit photoshops. And then collectively, it's like it's not doing well. That's back on Pete. Yeah. <laughs> but then the one right. person who didn't work on it, me, yeah. had like multiple co comments being like, uh, "This seems like a Ruby idea." Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 and I'm yeah, like, yeah, totally, totally. And I'm like, "Not involved." So I should funny. point out as well. Speaking of uh, being credited for the wrong person, people have shouted out for me for the most recent Photoshop thing. That was Will. That was Will's genius yeah. and wonder. Oh. People will have tweeted at me for that. Uh, <coughs> Will is the conspiracy theorist putting out fake news and images on our. We're all kind of jamming Stephanie, together. Stephanie, as you can mm. see, is alive and well. Yeah, Steph is alive. <laughs> now that's what a living girl looks like. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> We're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're wheels gonna... have fallen off. Yeah, we're gonna do a piece of history, and it's my turn. Last time I brought you the fun, thrilling, exciting experience that was my uh, multi-user dungeon when I was 16 years old, uh, and um, now I'm bringing you a game with graphics, thankfully, um, and it's sponsored by A Timothy. Let's uh. Yeah, let's do it cards. Oh, I forget the card. <laughs> It only has 3D fucking assets. We better run it. No, this is our, this is our most expensive. This is the, my, one of my favorite ones that you've done. Is that not real? No, no, no. It's. <laughs> I thought it was real. It's not real. That's crazy. How did you do that? And it's sponsored by A Timothy. Get in the case. <laughs> Come on, kids. It's fun in there. And you don't like Auntie Donna. <laughs> it is a bit Auntie Donna. It's, it's a little bit bloody Auntie Donna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Uh, when we uh, like to shout out our wonderful sponsor, A Timothy, we, do a, we play a, a little game uh, where we try to uh, guess a famous Timothy based on facts, a little bit like fan tales. Guess okay. that, Tim. I don't know if we've done this Timothy before because we have failed to keep a list of all the previous Timothies. You didn't Timothies. check? I told you to check. <laughs> yeah, we do I, have I asked, I asked. We usually cross them out. Of Ooh. the list. Oh, oh. Yeah. do we though? I've, I have should been. do. I've forgotten to do oh, okay. that. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I asked Josh. Josh was like, I don't know. Is it Tim Allen? Like, 
No. Chalamet. Okay, we're probably good. It's not Tim Allen or Sham- Chalamet. 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 All right, let's do it. Okay, this Tim is 65 years old. Timothy Oliphant. No. Chalamet. He attended the California Institute of the Arts, studying character animation. <laughs> <laughs> animation? He was an animator's apprentice with Walt Disney. Animation Studios. Not Walt Disney himself. Not the man. Mm. Vincent was his first film, a six-minute black and white no, uh, stop-motion short. Mm. Despite his phobia of chimpanzees, he directed Planet of the Apes. Oh, oh, Ruby. Yes? Is it Tim Burton? Yeah, hey! hey! I don't know why I'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. so Let's much. Go on. It's nice. just coming out. Yeah. Uh, my last one was he was slated by critics for introducing too many villains into Batman Forever. Do you agree or disagree? Oh, I remember. There no. were so many villains. Batman Forever is the best Batman film. Yeah, but also like Sam Raimi put so many villains in Spider-Man also, 3 and that was the best Spider-Man that was ever released. Mm. So. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Work. There's two what? villains. In Batman Forever? Batman Forever? There's Poison Ivy and no. Iceman, right? Isn't that Forever? That's Batman and Robin. Batman Forever oh, yeah. is Two-Face and the Riddler. The Rid- uh, That's the best one. The Riddler, yeah. Uh, and Catwoman? And Cat... Oh. No. Oh. Featuring Timmy Cat- Lee Jones. Catwoman's in oh, Batman Tim- Returns with Pe- Penguin and Catwoman. Penguin, Penguin and, and Catwoman. Women, and I don't know if Burton woman. directed, Sh- Schumacher did forever, but Burton potentially did. A pre- he did the first two, but Burton might have produced, might have um, Burton like. Didn't, but, what? But, didn't he touch would never. It. So potentially he got in trouble for bringing in the Penguin and Catwoman? Maybe Schumacher across two films, shit. he oh God, used but... too many good uh, Batman villains. And Schumacher got just made a shit one with Batman and Robin, but it was Miss Doctor Free, Mister Freeze, uh, Doctor Freeze, is my yeah. uh, Poison I didn't Ivy, spend and six Bane. Years of medical school to become so Mr. potentially Bruce. the only one with three. Did I win? Yeah, yeah. You maybe. get no points. Oh. I didn't really feel like this was going to set up I such won. a debate, but um, I'm, so I'm glad. Can we talk more I'm about glad. that Mario ad? <laughs> 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 so the game that I have brought for a piece of history, this is, uh, this is a challenging segment for me because I didn't play a lot of games when I was a kid, didn't yep. have consoles and stuff, which is why my first game was a text-based RPG that I found on the internet. Awesome. Um, but uh, one of the first games that I did um, have, when I was in high school, I um, <clears throat> my parents had like saved up to send me to this like dumb private school that I hated and ended up getting kicked out of. Cool. Um, but And their requirements were at that time that you had to have a laptop. It was at a time where people were not tech savvy. The laptops were shit. It was an awful idea. Half of my classes were spent with teachers being like, okay, trying to like troubleshoot someone's shit. And they also, I'm the same age as you, same thing happened. They were like, let's all give them screens and not look at them. And we'll stand at the front of the room and let you all have little buffers so we can't see the shit you're getting up to. You're like, totally. even at that age, we're like, this is a bad idea. Yeah, 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 it was so dumb. Um, But I had this like brick of a laptop and um, then somebody started passing around a, a floppy disk with a game called Crystal Caves on it. And um, once I installed that on my laptop, it became my like go-to in class when the nice. teacher was unable Whoop. to see the screen. Yeah, a little taste. Is anyone getting that come. nostalgia <laughs> up the spine? You can get uh, Crystal Caves on Steam, or but this is a browser version of it, I think. Ruby, mm-hmm. you found this one? Yep. <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. I, I was just about to point out. I'm only just now looking at this keyboard, which Ruby uses day to day. It is fucking covered in shit. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's like mounds of goober. I want to call. I want to say goobers. Is that a goober? That's a goober. Pass it around, Peter. <laughs> Steph, you're up first. Can you see that goober? Uh, uh, let's look at your keyboard, sir. <laughs> my keyboard's filthy, but it's my work one. I don't have one at work. It's pretty sad, <laughs> isn't it? Have a desk. <laughs> it's pretty sad. All right. uh, anyone, Steph anyone who eats at their desk, which I do three times a day, I feel like can relate. Um, I would say in the keyboard. kitchen, but that's my office. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, <laughs> you control this game with the arrow keys. Mm-hmm. And I think control and alt. Control and alt. Yeah. So, oh, that's a lag. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know oh, if it is. That's Maybe that's lag. how the game runs. If I, uh, should I refresh the page? Yeah, let's try it. <laughs> It's Pi Day! <laughs> no, it's pi- I fucking told you. It's, it's bullshit. <laughs> Every other day is a fucking oh, day for fucking something. Guys, Jesus. guys, it's Pi Day. I personally love a meat pie, oh, which yeah. I tried when I was in Australia. Girl, that was. Pie for oh, me. Oh, it cannot be refreshed. Boy. Okay. How's this with lag? Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> Crystal Caves, you play a little uh, mining guy. Mm-hmm. He has a. What's his name? His do name you want me to is, do the facts? His name is Milo. Steamwits. 
which was uh, which was meant to be the the name of a loser. The main um, character's name, Milo Steenwitz, was coined by George Broussard and was meant to sound like a loser's name. Like a loser's I name. I would argue George Broussard, bit of a loser name. Yeah, that's a pretty think, cool I think, name. I think Milo's a, cool a pretty name. trendy name now. It's yeah. Up, it's up there. Um, Let's quit to DOS. <laughs> Let's quit to DOS, you guys. Uh, so oh, um, it's I, you mentioned, I didn't know this because I didn't play Duke Nukem back then, but like... As soon as I saw it, I was like, that's Duke Nukem. Yeah, and it sounds like Duke, Duke Nukem. Yeah. Let's call our BBS. <laughs> oh. What? Who's our BBS? Our big, our big, big butt service. <laughs> oh. No, oh, of course. No? Call our big butt service? Steph, hit uh, S. What's the story? Back booty, back booty sexy. Can we call it uh, BBS, please? I would say it's bulletin board Human. system. But, um, uh, what's your social NEP? security number? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. Uh, There's no, N. N? Yeah. Foreign orders. <laughs> yeah. Um Oh god. I think I that's just how the game runs. Yeah, okay. Yeah, maybe. I'll just um Is this how you remember it playing? This is how I, I remember was, you I was in playing. year seven. It was a long time ago. What what? Well it's Oh no, it's just the the game, the, it's just the game. <laughs> just the game. Oh, it just looks be. like it just looks like there's eight frames. Uh, yeah. So um, you basically have to go around these different levels, collecting gems and stuff, um, uh, avoiding uh, little enemies and creatures and things like that. Um, but you'll pick up certain um, types of like ammunition. Oh shit! Oh, you took a hit there. Um, you pick up different types of a ammunition and stuff. Oh my god, this is so hard. Um, Do you want to switch it over, Pete? Yeah. Give it a go. See if that fixes it up. Uh, people in chat shouting out that the sound effects are giving them some serious nostalgia throwbacks. Uh, yeah, this yeah. is Ap Apogee, who became 3D Realms and did Duke Nukem. Is that Would have been the same year. I think I think they were both 1991, the first Duke Nukem. Yeah, and... it is a bit better, yeah. Um, and uh, you can Came pick on up... six floppy disks. <laughs> you can pick up different um, ammunition and stuff that um, does things like reverses gravity. So then like the, the ceiling is the floor. Mm. What am I going to happen to that? The P pill. Oh, maybe I, need to <laughs> I wrote this. down a bunch of stuff. Steph can read the rest. The P pill supercharges Milo's gun so it can destroy all enemies with a single shot. The G pill mm -hmm. <laughs> reverses the, gravity. What's the fire key. Uh, oh. Alt. Allowing yeah. Milo Alt to the walk on the is ceiling. Jump, alt is shoot. No? Okay. Oh, so God. press escape. I think I press... think you can just hit spacebar. Yeah. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, 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 try escape. alt. Use the fire. I just key. pressed escape, Peter. Oh, <laughs> press escape again. The G pill. Press escape <laughs> and then press escape again. Oh, go. Go and then you get back to full screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Wild. Cool, 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 cool. This game is awesome. Um, so that should turn nice. this on. Oh, okay. oh, now you got a lift moving. Can you shoot the caterpillar yeah. in the face? Shoot it. Uh, yes, I think I can. Uh, well, I don't know if it was like bouncy bullets. You've only got 10 bullets total as well, so yeah. it'd be So maybe sparing. go down and, and hit him with it. Mm, okay. No. I'm just going to go for the... Um, just do her own thing. Yeah. That's how Steph plays I think you get hurt caves. by the fire. No. Different game. Oh, so, you got a shrink. controversial opinion. Uh -huh. Tell us it. I... That's rare of you. Don't keep it to yourself. <laughs> Tell us it. <laughs> I always... Hated the aesthetic of whatever limitations this color palette had. The Commander Keen green and I don't know. I think it's that aqua makes me uncomfortable. Uh, and it was I swear it was some kind of weird limitation, but it's, I just hated it. It's um it's so hard getting used. Whoa! To oh, oh, you found a whoa. secret gem. I forgot about that. It was like a little Mario There's a thing when heads. you um. Stark Magnus. What does it mean? EGA. Oh god. Ah. Oh god. Yeah, it is. Oh god. It is. I'm dead. Oh. oh. Um, it's so hard to get used to moving with your right hand when you're yeah. used to moving with your left. That's I'm sure you can, I wonder if you can rebind it. All 16 oh. colors. Mm, uh, I should probably. I will say I did finish this game. I think it took me a very long time, but I was yeah. very inattentive in school. Can you move the mouse? So here? it gave me. Um, All right. It gave me something to do. Oops. How um, how did this do the rounds at your school in terms of? Floppy again, disc. Floppy disk. No, but as in, like, did everyone have it at one point? Or was, like, because that, I remember that would happen in my school. Suddenly a game would just be on I feel every... like, I yeah, feel like, like it uh, was French class. When I was in... How's your French? Oui. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yes. No. Uh, no. When I was in a uh, woodworking class, uh, whenever <laughs> we... slack off in woodworking we, yeah. class. No, no, that no. That is the slacking <laughs> class. Yeah, yeah, but the woodworking teacher encouraged it, so it was fine. To do what? Uh, to slack off. Oh, okay. So uh, oh, when you'd... Uh, 
What's that? When we were in woodworking class, there was always like the practical woodworking, which everybody loved doing. And the theoretical and the, woodworking. Which was going into the computer room and then everyone would pass around a USB stick that had Counter-Strike on it. Hang on, what are you doing? Are you and doing like all play CAD counter -Strike. drawings and stuff or something, are you? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I, I don't know, we just play Counter-Strike. <laughs> oh, those things are bad. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Maybe uh, shoot them with your I gun. Have, I, I, couldn't, Pill. I couldn't even remember. I just I had a weird memory trigger. I remember those things. No, this um, is the joy of this segment. Yeah. Is suddenly realizing you're like, wait a minute. I, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I have a memory. I, re I remember of this. that lumpy thing. They were um they were great also um like you, nice you, you could find a, um, certain items that would like freeze all the enemies on screen and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. I hate those fucking wiggly things. Make me feel weird. So okay, good. I'm glad you get a weird feeling from this yeah, color palette. It's, well. it's the way they move. They're just very tadpole. That's the wiggly, not the aqua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the According to the. I think wiki. they're armored. Ah. I think they're armored, so I don't know that you can kill them. I'll I think, try. I think you just have oh. to. Oh. I shot him a lot. I I'm think out of ammo. you might need special bullets to be but able I think to get you them. can also jump in the head, right? I don't think so. Stop signs freeze all enemies on the screen, allowing Milo to sneak no. past them. You gotta them. open that door, baby. Yeah. Goomba style. Did you go up to the left already? I can't jump on the heads of the other one, though, you know? And if you turn on. Did you do both of the switches? Oh, dead. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> did you do both of the switches already? I did a switch. Okay. Uh, what are we doing? Arrow keys and alt? Uh, Arrow keys? Control is jump. Control is jump, yeah. Oh, there goes a bullet. Yeah. Get that fruit, quick! What happens to it? It'll disappear. Oh, but... Oh, oh I think also, I think if you shoot, shoot that thing that says air, it'll blow up. So be away from it. Oh, God! <laughs> now hit escape. And then hit escape. <laughs> And then use the... Oh no, use the cursor! Oh! <laughs> so you died. Okay, so you died? So you're dead? Yeah. Go on, So girl. it, it doesn't go. blow up, you blow up. <laughs> yeah. It vacuums you, turn you inside out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. You gotta no, get you gotta flip switch, yeah. I'm on it, I'm on it. And what'd you do? Alt. Press alt. Mm -hmm. Did anyone keep going that direction? Up. No, to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Us crawling with. This is just this is just another switch. But I think you need that switch to be able to progress in the other area. So this is a good way to go. There's also oh. you can access multiple levels. You don't shoot have to complete. We have to be on shoot the it, ground. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. <gasps> Why you shoot it with a gun? Why is nobody shooting it with a gun? Get that egg. Oh, it's the exit. What's that egg do? Don't give up now, Milo. There are more crystals to okay, so That's escape. the exit. So you exit there when you're done. <laughs> and then hit escape. <laughs> well oh, you know what would be lovely? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Turn the sounds back shoot on. It. Oh, shoot shit, it with a gun. Shit, hang on. Shoot it with huh? the sounds back on. Quick. Huh? Quick. Huh? Quick. Huh? Shoot it with a gun. Now, oh, oh, no, what you hit? <laughs> run, 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 oh run, 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 run. There's a new level of challenge to this game. Move the cursor. Move the cursor. Thank you. Run. Oh, that was Lovely. close. Shoot in the head. Shoot it with a gun. It doesn't shoot die. In the face. Oh, shit. I nearly hit the yeah. head. Oh, head got smaller. It got it's smaller. Got, it, it breaks into it. bits. It, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The head, the head is Keep left. shooting that face. Oh, do not like drop, 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 and shoot the face. Drop and shoot the face. Did I shoot this one already? Yep. Oh, you're a coward. That's how you do it. Get you the didn't get the crystals. Who yeah, cares the whole, about the crystals? I'm the, all about the whole point of the game Milo is getting the crystals. Milo cares about the crystals. That's the whole it's reason why he's there. Caves. I'm all about yeah. them caves. What's that? What's the orange box there? You got to be able to shoot that. Or brownie. Oh, B. B. Yeah, you can go and get that B, but it doesn't do anything. Do we got? That's locked. Yeah. There's some real puzzles. They're all gonna come to life. Yeah. That's locked. Yeah. The P button didn't do anything for me. But you didn't um but you didn't uh turn the switch on before. Something's gotta be different. I did uh, no, you gotta go over there now. now oh you got thirteen seconds got, to do you something. You got ten seconds to go shoot him with a special gun. Oh the special bullets. Hey, oh, yeah. what? Go. Go girl, go girl. Nice. Yes. Oh red switch. door. Slay. Oh, fucking escape escape fucking. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't want to pay six dollars to buy it on Steam. It's <laughs> company money, Steam. <laughs> Door open. Get that, ban get that fruit. What? It's probably health. Where? Ah! Down, 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 down. No. No, it's not health. It's just. It's, good just, it's just big, big points. It's just big points. Red door was to Red the door. top right. Top left, sorry. Top left. How do we know the color? Oh, was the color of the switch? That's yeah. how we learn colors. Yeah, the. Mm. You didn't flip the switch. Wait, what? Oh yeah, you gotta hit fire to flip the switch. Yeah. Uh, you hit it with the, with the gun. You have to shoot the switch with a gun. Shoot it. Nice. Yeah, nice. Guns always solve problems. That's There's um, true. but yeah, you so you can access a bunch of different levels from this that main hub area if you want to try a different one as well. You don't have to complete this to um. Ah! Shoot it. Get that candle. With a gun. The candle will kill the genies. 
Oh. What? You, you got had, wet. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, three lives. Mm. Right, that's Ruby, that's deadly cave water. Ruby, kill that caterpillar, will you? You finished this? Yeah. Wild. Google, show me but it, took, it just took me a really long time, but it was like, it was the only game I had. So it was like, you know, I got there in the end. Right, but yeah, so... I don't remember it being this hard, but I guess I just would have got through it eventually. Um, I think there is a graphical, I wouldn't even call it an upgrade, but there is a, a slightly zhuzhed up version that's available on Steam that's just like, I think a better color palette. Uh, the place you, really you hate these I colors. Hate, yeah. It's a really it's a I hate point, Josh. EGV or whatever it is. Oh, no, oh uh, no, shit, shit. Dead. no. There we go. Sorry, pardon me. Josh, can you just on the um on? Oh, you found another secret gem. Uh, can you jump into? <laughs> <laughs> this is the game now. <laughs> in VMix on your OBS one line in, just tweak the colors for Gus. <laughs> you can we fix can, this up. We can bro. do that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Ruby's gonna kill it. Crushed it. Yeah. Oh, the bones come out you of that. You murdered thing. that bone. Oh, thing you guys bones. can't see it though. Ooh, oh, we can't see it on our end, yeah. Well, then it does nothing for me. So I'll, still, I'll still do some stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Tune it up. For chat's enjoyment. Ooh, ah. <laughs> the peanut gallery over yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a raid version. Alt, alt, yeah. Don't forget to go up to that other switch. Oh, do I go there first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta flick that switch at some point. I oh, think. work deeper. Did you guys know? They looked up this. Oh. On October twenty fourth, two thousand and five, three D realms. I already knew it. Next formerly point. Apogee released a maintenance <laughs> patch to fix a bug in the game, which when which would set the oh. player's computer's clock backwards a hundred years when playing the game. <laughs> That's crazy. They actually had a full patch <laughs> because they were like, something's happening to everyone's computers. Uh, Although that would have um, alleviated everyone's Y2K? Y2K fears. That's, maybe that's what they were getting at. Yeah. Oh, oh, dead. oh you got hammered. I keep getting uh, in dead trouble. It? You go, go one more time because you walked into that caterpillar and okay. messed yourself up. Also, you hit the windows. You can kill the caterpillar right now. Oh, no, you can't. You just hit the air. Uh, I think the, paddock, the caterpillar the needs saving. Um, I think you need saving. A... <laughs> well, that's obvious. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we what fun. color palette are we guys enjoying? Oh no. Banana! Good banana. What good work. the hell? It wasn't worth any points. That's so messed up. Bananas aren't worth points. It's just potassium. <laughs> there were sequels there to were this, weren't there? To it's a there were also, um, I think there were levels where the whole thing was completely dark and you had to kind of like jump away around. That's bad game design. No, that was what they did back then. There was some twisted game design because yeah. they were like, yeah, we can just test the realms of this. Impossible. Yeah. Mission yeah. had a level that was entirely blacked out, and you walked in. It was just like good luck. Uh, yeah, and I remember. I, I remember being like, "What the fuck?" When it happened, but then it being really exciting to try and like because like, all the levels <laughs> were so similar, and then you'd have one that was like slightly different. You'd be like, "Oh shit, upside down! What?" Oh, what? Steph, Steph, en français. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. You passed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah. Yep, get yep, up. Yep, yep. I get up. Whoa. I get up. I go up. And nothing gets me down. Did you guys have games in in high school that you like that that did the rounds or like Stunts. there were like flash games and Stunts. stuff? Stunts. <laughs> 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 it was like a vector, yeah, that's a vector racing had. game. That's the sound it had. Yeah, cool. right. Everyone <laughs> had stunts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone had Broderbund. That was soppy. Right. Uh, sop with sop soppy. It was a DOS game. Uh, the sop with camel was the old plane. It was a little pink plane that would fly around, uh -huh. and you have to bomb things. And yeah, everyone right. had soppy. Um, we had kid picks. Kid picks was great. Oof. Uh, we had um, maths. We had what's like a math maths circus? circus? Math circus. Oh. Where the seals and you need to fill up the math circus. Yeah. Trapeze. Um, All about I, that trapeze. I went to yeah, maths coaching. Yeah, the trapeze coaching. one was great. No, no, no. Pretty oh. much throughout my entire no high school experience, and I remember math circus being like they would be like. They'd get us to solve some maths problems and then reward us with a maths game. Math was circus that... is what they did with like the D students. They're like, we're all gonna learn like long division and you guys can play maths circus. It was an amazing Yay. school game though. The best one was called The Incredible Machine, I think. Yes. And you yes. would like design. So you made gold. on the Rube Goldberg yeah. machines. Yeah, it was had sick. like scissors and um, balloons oh. and yeah. gravity. Mm, uh, Ski Free, yeah. we all played as well. Ski Free, I remember my uncle had that on his like work laptop and it was just. We're burning future yeah. his piece of history oh, content. Yeah, I mean, but we're not burning them, we're talking about them. To yeah. in, know that they're coming up. Did Maps and friend. facts, not a game, just nice to learn about the world. <laughs> you just did geography. Oh. Yeah, essentially. We should do but, Encarta on this one time. Oh, Mind there, uh, no, you have, Yeah, you got to yeah. stand on it. Um, nice. Yeah, what else? And did you have external floppy drives? 
for your your laptop? No, mine See? was just really fucking thick. Oh no, sorry, I take it back. Yeah, we all had. But I did have the um. Oh no, actually, I had a trackpad, but some people had a little nub. We use nubs. We I was all about that nub. I think I preferred a nub. I the nub was so much you better. You threaded that needle. But we then had to like replace the nub. It was a little nice. turquoise yeah, yeah. thing that you had to nice. take off and yeah, like. You nubbed too hard. You nubbed too hard back then. You just Watch burned it straight off. Drip. <laughs> it was wild how something used to spread like wildfire if it was down. discovered because everyone you just was. You like to run past it. Whoa, oh, that was fucking perfect. Candle. Um, everyone was equally as computer illiterate, and so Watch it was like head, someone yeah. would discover. Nice. All right, you seem to be pretty good. You good? You 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 home free. Leave it down, but in a good way. You have to go back up? Key and switch? You should be able to jump straight up the side yeah, there, right? Think, think, oh, yeah. I think you can... Just, just... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. yeah, stay safe. Oh, stay safe out there, you know? Stay safe. Which switch you just... Stay you safe. Oh, green, 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 green. Yeah, nice. Yeah. There it is. That was the one with the minecart. So oh, be yeah. careful, be careful, because there'll be a... The what, does it do? what does it do? Crazy Steph, what does it do? Cut. It's coming at you! Ah! Oh, boy. I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's coming over! Ah! 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 Get the fuck out of there! Blue door, blue door, blue door! Uh, up and over, yeah. up and over! Yeah. Don't follow me! <laughs> yeah, you just watching you. Okay. Which one do you want to keep? Which key? Which key? Which key? Wait, she just used it. Oh, well, there you go. Nice one. Oh, no, you, you get, oh, you just get oh, keyed up! Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh. Is, it, is it worth shoot it? it? Shoot it, is shoot it. Is it worth it? How many lives do you have? No, she's got one no. life. Don't do it. Don't do it's it, don't do it. How do you leave? How do you win? Well, where's the other? Down the, down the bottom was the exit. But is bottom it just, right. you're already ready to go out? Yeah, Ooh. Diva. Be careful. Um, I think I have to get all the gems, don't I? Okay, let's double check. <laughs> They're crystals. Crystal gems. Leave. Shoot Let it. us out. No, Steph? okay. She looks confused. Do you need to get all the gems? Maybe you do. Which oh. means you need to get the ball as well. The ball? The egg. The egg. I don't the think egg? I need the egg. Nah. That looks like a soccer ball. I think I just need uh all You the need gems. to tell We have how Oh fruit! No, oh, it doesn't matter. It's just it matters to it, me. It's just points. Down high score. When it was all about it's down not, high score. It's never just points. But then Steph, you finished this. Come on. In 1997. That was a long time ago. This well, game that... was six years old. When I was you one years old. Mm. How are you gonna get that one? You gotta jump over the slammer. It's good. Get what does that ball do? That looks like go, one of those balls. You put your hand on it and the lightning comes Go from that platform. I think there's yeah. a thing that yeah. moves them at some point. Whoa. Yes, yes, Ooh. Ruby. Not yet, not yet. Oh, oh, Ruby! Oh, oh, you survived. Oh, Ruby, no! Last crystal collected. Yes! Press escape! Uh, you press escape. shit, leave and this then level. Then press escape again. And then... Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding? And that's a segment called a piece of histamine. Yes! <laughs> Everything's so fucked up. Life sucks. <laughs> <laughs>
That's something to work on. M-U-S-O-4-H-I-R-E dot com Did you know that most people can't clock what key a song is in? Or even harmonise by ear? How embarrassing. I'd be embarrassed if I were them. But it's never too late to learn. Go to this website. M-U-S-O-4-H-I-R-E dot com Is someone currently breaking into your home to steal your priceless Fabergé eggs? <laughs> Wrong number. Call someone who gives a shit. M-U-S-O-4-H-I-R-E dot com Did your partner run away with the milkman and now you're looking for someone to, quote, make him disappear? Yeah, don't call this number. This one's for music, silly. M-U-S-O-4-H-I-R-E dot com That's the Muso for Hire portal. Just for music hire. M-U-S-O-4-H-I-R-E dot com What do you think it is about Gex that sets him apart from other video game mascots in your eyes? He's traumatized. You know, his dad worked at NASA and he died in a rocket accident. His rocket exploded. Yeah. And I think that is what drove Gex into his destiny of, of just watching TV endlessly because he was just so distraught by his father dying and he didn't really know how to deal with it. He didn't go to therapy yeah. or anything. He's just like, I'm just going to watch TV forever. It's such an interesting concept to kind of offer to children. Talking Gecko, great, awesome. Uh, makes references to all the TV shows you love. Very cool, very nice. His dad died. <laughs> and, and his traumatic response is an obsession with television. Okay, I just need a moment of calm before I start my day. But I don't bum 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 bum. But bum Look, it sticks a little butt up in the air, Oh, it's a cute little ducky. <sighs> okay, now I'm <laughs> Welcome back. Why the fuck do you do this? I thought I had this. Segment. I know. And I said, but I'm I back do. announcing this. <laughs> what? That's what? That's Don't you segment. get in on this. Oh my <laughs> but God. I'm running this segment. Tear makers? Yeah. Yeah. And then and Ruby's doing the Even outro. I know that because we had the conversation <laughs> five fucking times at the start of the show. It's, but it, has, it is in Gus's defense, it is not updated in the list. And I assume and, that's why uh, Gus, uh, Josh was on Gus. And we just said in the ad break, like, the, if it's written down, we will read it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're anchormaning this hard. Peter! Do a wipe? No. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Take it away. <clears throat> Give me one more. Oh. Imagine somebody really turning to the show just at that moment. They'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much to uh, Muso for Hire, whose ad we saw. Uh, we saw a game plan. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I, I wasn't here. I went to the bathroom. Oh. Uh, I guess you should. Do you want to take this? I'm going to go to the bathroom. Uh, BMAC showed us a cock or two. And, um, <laughs> and come, we, come now. That's sure. it. That's not he, it. He, he sure will. Uh, and um, we also <laughs> heard a little snippet of the podcast. Uh, we've got a bit of a Gexy uh, pod coming up this week. Let's it's not talk a word. about Gex. <laughs> That's right. Uh, it is. The Gex Show. We're talking about video game mascots, uh, but also in particular Gex, because I was joined by Gex Extraordinaire, legal wife of Gex, uh, and 
friend of the show, uh, Izzy Kestrel. She's a real sweetheart. She runs Gex Week every year. <laughs> Think There's Mario a whole week for Gex? <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a day. Yeah. Your, your yeah. whole deep dive yeah. into Gex was such an insight into you as a person. And then when you told me what was in this episode, I was like, how have you found like the most peak Gex Why would you content? Question of course she could See, the that. thing is, I believe <laughs> that in this beautiful and joyous world, anything is possible mm. and I can achieve anything. A week of Gex, it's possible. And we can do a week of Gex. Um, <laughs> Gex Awareness Week. Yeah. Safe Gex. Gex it, There's so many fun. Yes. <laughs> International like Gex it. Day. Yeah. yeah. And now we're aware of it. So mm. I think that the tooth. Uh, but yeah, it's a fun episode. Uh, it's coming out tomorrow. And if you are a Patreon person on the Patreon. That's what we call you, them. If, you're, if you are part of the gold tier and above, you'll get the bonus episode as well where we um, – what do we do? Oh, we're rating – uh, video game mascots based on how Gex we appeal. think they would uh, respond to hitting us with their car. It was it's it plays out well. It's a hat <laughs> on a hat. Yeah, it's a mascot running you over with a car, and it's not. How do you think they'd react? It's how do you rate their what, how you think they would react? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> so like if they reacted quite poorly. But you think it kind of fits in the way that they are. Yeah, is then it true you to them? Rate them really. Mickey well. Mouse just goes, ha -ha! yeah, and, and then you go, well, well that's. Oh, no. It's like, well, that's kind of how he is. <laughs> that's a I've never that been sense. more intrigued to actually listen to the bonus yeah. app now because I'm like, I just, just more and more questions. Spring you got to go down mind. that rabbit hole sometimes. You do, yeah. you do. Uh, there is a lot more show coming up because we do have a final segment tonight, and it, it's going to be a beefy one. Uh, Beef. And we like to call this segment. Rudger Hauer. What? All those moments will be lost. <laughs> it's so in time. It's just it, the pocket ellipse is so cursed. Like I think it's awesome. Tears <laughs> in rain. <laughs> Special. Uh, I fucking love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me instantly want to just go back and watch the film as yeah, well. Totally, it does not totally, take much yeah. to go, I need to see that whole model. It's not Pockety's lips, they're Rookhauer's lips. Yep. The man himself. Batty, Betty, ba what's his name? Uh, Roy Batty. Roy Batty. Roy Batty, that's right. Yeah. Uh, not to be confused with Just Batty from Fern Gully. Yeah. Ro voiced by Robin Williams. Voiced by Robin Williams. And that's the segment. <laughs> what a, what a and weird that was <laughs> <laughs> what's Rookhauer's character called? This is it. This is what it's like in the office every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just, dumb it's just shit this references. bullshit back and forth. Uh, so, Tear Makers in Rain is the segment where we go to the Tear Makers website. We pick a fun uh, S through to they're often through to E, and sometimes haven't interacted with. But basically, S A B C D. Can I ask a question, please. We list them out, right? What? what happened to pocket picks or pick pocket? Po pick, yeah. Is that not this? It's a different segment. Yeah, I know. It still exists. We could, we should do one because uh, five years hasn't been played in a while. No, but it's been uh, replaced by this. That's but it, but it, this is a this is a, just like has a nice what's visual the, element. What's the it. difference? Pocket picks. What's pickpocket? Oh my god, we're not playing pickpocket tonight. We're playing tear cool. makers in rain. Yeah, but can you, you hit just the tell card? Me what it is for just a clarification. You don't have to hit the card. Oh, <laughs> the... You so like, did what, this. You made this happen. Everyone be quiet and just enjoy it. Like, like, tears <laughs> in rain. I've seen sea beams glittering. Did he kiss the bird before he let it go? No, but I can add that for next week. I think that's in the movie. Ooh. Next week. <laughs> only only if it's summer. your mustachioed lips yeah. Yeah. Making, doing and, the kiss. And it kisses, and it kisses the bird on the mouth and you can see the, the little beak just mm. go right into the The tear maker list that we are doing tonight. We're going to fight is first party Nintendo Switch games. Hell yeah. yeah baby. We're going to tell you definitively tonight which Nintendo Switch games are good. Is this oh, a no. swan song? And which games are arms. This is a bit of a swan song for the Switch. We're, it's rumored <laughs> to be replaced, but it just won't die. It's for Martin Day. It's Ma for this Martin is for Martin Day. Day. Oh, oh okay, Martin fair Day. Enough. Yeah, fair That's enough. the tie-in. Thank you, Josh. All right. Uh, we've got a suite of games here. A lot of Kirby up there. You can immediately see how much pink is on the screen. Um, mm. But 
obviously some classics in there. Can I make a wild suggestion? Please. We, I don't think we've done this before. What if we are just forced to play them through in order? We don't get to randomly pick stuff and throw it up there. Okay. We go from top left and we work our way through. I'm totally okay with that. Yeah, we can and, make some adjustments guys, as we go. Who is this segment brought to us by? Good question. Damn, Dump day. she's on it. We all... What? What? We all forgot that one this time. I know. <laughs> the power of Rodger Hauer. <laughs> it was about Rodger Hauer and then, and then the, the distraction of uh, five years for what you did. That's true. Um, thank you so much, Dumb Days, for sponsoring this segment. <laughs> We're going to see a comic of Dumb Days. We've not seen this at all. So I'm going to be... Uh, I Allocating know, I the part? Playing the part? Seeing the I comic? I don't know if there are parts. That's a good point. Let's see Ooh, the comic. Should, okay. we, should we see the comic, please? No, let's not see the comic. <laughs> let's instead think about what the comic might be. Are you ready? Yeah. I just heard furious fucking clicking over there, <laughs> and it wasn't on screen he was, yet. He was stalling so, for so you. So I was like, uh, we, could do, we, could, we could riff. Could uh, we? What could the comic be, theoretically? A Ma 10 reference? Uh, it'll have a bin chicken. Let's see it. Yes! <laughs> it does <a> <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, we don't even need to read it. You. We don't even need to read it. Do it, Peter. You gotta do the, you gotta do the voice. <laughs> what is the crime? Eating a meal? A succulent garbage meal? <laughs> Get your hands off my Bad judo. <laughs> ah, you know your judo. You know your judo you know well. Your judo well. <clears throat> Brilliant. Right. Brilliant. That's good. There you go. That's good. Uh, and that is a Galar. And you've been excited about Galar. I have today, been. You? Yeah, yeah. I love a Galar. So is that law in this dump days that all Galars are cops? Or just this Galar has decided to follow yeah. the line of the law and be well, a... Well, this be cop's a bloody Galar. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. He's onto it. Nice. Nice. What's up? Stuff. Nice. Boss, what's up? That is what is up. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's jump across to the tier maker list and we'll go through them in order. Because I think last time we all... Threw an S tier up as quickly we as we could. But no, we're going to start I with. I really want to though. You're everyone, not allowed to? Is, does everyone? We're making the rules up as we go. As we okay. go. Does everyone get one S as a, and they can't be vetoed? That's what happened with the movie one, I think. Yes. Steph's looking. That is what happened. Fierce. I think we oh, could do that. Yeah, that is what happened. Except I found it really interesting that there was one S tier that I put up, and it kept getting brought. Lower and lower. Who knows how? Yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. really strange. So if we're gonna do that rule, maybe we should stick to it, right? I think we should stick to it unless it's a Five Nights at Freddy's game. But thankfully, uh, that hasn't tainted the Nintendo Switch wouldn't touch as that a first trash. party. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. a first party. Oh, game. Right. It's weird how you guys are dumb So and game number let's, one. Let's jump in at Pikmin Three Deluxe. Is what I think I'm reading. We also got to be harsh because like Nintendo's bar of quality is like pretty high. So there's totally. nothing here that's dog shit. There is there there are. Plenty of S T and Nintendo mm. games. So we can't just throw them all up there like yeah. fanboys and yeah. girls. We have to be like, what objectively is really good and what's mm. the lesser of the and goods? That's how ratings work. Uh, yeah. Did anybody play Pikmin 3 Deluxe? I've only played Pikmin 1. I did play Pikmin 3 You are Deluxe. mistaking this segment um, in the way that that is a, a relevance. Okay. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> so what, am, what? What are we ranking these by? We're gonna rank What's them. The vibe? Like, We're gonna rank them by just, vibe. You rank them by the vibe. By the Pick, vibe. Pikmin three. What if we played it? Pick, Pikmin generally, I would Boss? say, is a B tier. Oh, again? oh, that's literally okay, okay, so I'm wrong. Help you out. I'm gonna help you. Out. <laughs> so crazy. Four, wrong. You fucking yeah. love four, and four's really good. I heard in a lot of reviews and banter that three a little less. So yeah, it can't be S. Three. Can't be. I, and I love Pikmin. Yes, yeah. we know. I love Pikmin we got a lot as of we games know, to get through, so we don't need to know everything about every but game. But Pikmin three, as a Pikmin game, heaps of time. as a whole, yeah. it was probably the worst Pikmin game. Oh so, shit! Okay, D, D, yeah. Pop it in D. Animal Crossing <laughs> could have started there. Is animal that the first Crossing, one? Is that animal? That's Animal Crossing New Horizons. God, that's um, is that, it New Horizons? That has yeah. Uh, Josh, is it, I guess it's only one Hans. Switch game. Josh and Hans. Can Gosh. we get confirmation? That's New it, Horizons. It, it, it is as 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 a player of that game, many 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 hours. Enhance. That is. We can't, mate. It's already all the way in. That it's is so Horizons. enhanced. You that is New mate. Horizons. That's as that is New Horizons. I would I've say I played, played that game for six hundred hours. Would, that is New Horizons. It is New Horizons. I didn't love it, but my god, I have the fondest memory for that being a COVID game that like just yeah. carried me for like Same. maybe six months of that. It's a game that came out at the perfect time. It's up in A for me. I would say it's A. Yeah. High B, low A. I think it's also like it was a COVID game, but it also um, it's it sent you into those weird like spirals of like this is important to me because I have nothing else going on. 
you know, like Question? The, the, the flowers that you would run through and I would get so angry about it. I, I did trample that was, a lot it of was flowers. Just, those, those flowers were really important yeah. to me oh, at that no. time. I wish no I harm on anyone ever, but a little part of me gets a weird pang of nostalgia and sadness and sort of a melancholy when I see that game. Because I, like, I remember just being allowed to just stay at home and play a game and like yeah. nothing else was going on in my life. And, and as, like, as shit as that was, there was something kind of wild and magical about it. It was the so cutest like, way to see your friends as well. It was so that was the, weird. That was the first yeah. time Reese and I met as yeah. I went to his trash island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, it's on A. That Moving being on. said, it's not the best Animal Crossing game. I have played every single one. Okay, uh, Metroid Prime uh, remaster. 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 Really, really good. I played about half of it. I liked it a lot, but it's a remaster. So are we are we deducting some points here for not being like an original Switch designed game? No. No. Oh, okay. Then it's I'd give a shit. I would give it a uh, give it an I bounce between A and B. Yeah. It's really that good. Did you take the suit off? I think I think round down. Let's round down. Bendy's round okay down. I'm okay with that. I'm okay because I feel there's other stuff in there. I like I want to give another Metroid game a better score. So Ooh, let's work up to that. Well, too uh, bad. D. This was shit. Yeah, I uh, Kirby Dream Buffet. Was Kirby shit. Dream Buffet. You guys tried to. We all tried to play it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was yeah. like free to play. It, totally no, unfun. No, it was paid. It was paid to play, but shit to play. I think it was yeah, very cheap, and it was like a. It was a bunch it of mini cake based mini games. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And it was. It was, like it was bad. Fall Guys. It was yeah. Fall Guys if you were a ball. Yeah. Josh. Bad. With the one two switch. One two switch. That's no. It. That's um. Everybody it. one two switch. We can have this conversation. We can but point out this. One was, two switch is a C. I'm I'm putting I'm gonna pull my S tier card and put it in a the, wow. this is the original that's not what an s tier card that means. is not everybody wants you get to go to this is the this is the oh. launch this is this game. is, this, well, is uh, the, this is the ice cubes and the milk and the cows uh, no no, no I this is this is wait, atrocious wait, wait, it's d wait, what, everybody want to switch? but what was really cool about it was, was it had that one game? where you had to feel how many everybody wants to switch the... is a sequel that we played recently cool. yes yes this, this is the one with the way you made you eat a hot dog and it looks like you were eating. This is yeah, trash. Fucking great. Yeah. This should not be promoted. This, it's D. It's this not was even a tech demo. No, that's, that's fine, that's fine. It's D. Free. It's not even C. Respect, respect. It was yeah. a tech demo. And it was a bad the one. The fact that it costs money puts it into D. Correct. That should have been C. There should be an E. <laughs> there should, there should be an E. Texas just the one for you played game. on Sunrise. I forgot I went on Sunrise. I do not think that Pikmin 3 is on the same level as the other guy. What's his name? As 1 2 Switch. What's presentation mode? I think there's I nothing think lower than that though. Yeah, there's yeah, nothing. That's the only what happens if we click yeah, presentation mode? Ooh. Oh. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same. It's the same. It's okay. the same game. Same game. Is uh, it worse than Dream Buffet? Oh. Uh, Dream Buffet is yes. the worst game on there. No, Dream? it's worse than Dream Buffet. I it's a know. tech demo. It's nothing. I, but no, no, Dream but it Buffet was really nicely presented. It, tried, it had some it design cool to it. Is. Dream Buffet is the worst. The tech of it is sick. Are we saying worst is closer to D? Worst is like far Further to the away. right. Yeah. yeah, that's the yeah, way. Okay, yeah, that works yeah, well. Yeah. Uh, Kirby, what? Kirby, uh, that is Kirby Star. Star Allies. That was yeah. a really good game. I heard good things. Uh, you, uh, uh, to heal, you have little friends that follow you, and to heal your friends, you have to give them a kiss on the mouth. Did you finish this? Mm. Um, I did. Does this have the really hard last level that everyone got like absolutely trumped on? No, it? that's Kirby. Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. That's when you fought God. God, it happens from time uh, to time. You Kirby just... Star Allies rocks. I would put it in A or B. I yeah. would. I've heard let's very be, good things. So I'd up. be it up. Yeah, yeah, be it up. Kirby's for me are always off-putting because of how baby they are. B for blazing a B kiss for... on your friend's mouth. B for babies. B for uh, babies. What do we got here? What the hell is that? It says get. Oh, get, that is brain Gehen training. Jogging. It's it's. A, I think that's a German cover. Oh. Uh, it is brain training. Oh, it's a brain training. A. Uh, yeah, A. All those brain training Learning games is power. Learning, yeah, is learning is power. Learning is power. Power is learning. Mario RPG. Super Mario RPG. It was so good. It was, uh, but it's a remake. I'm um, A. A. You, did you play it? Did you play it? Did you play it? No. You play is it an A or a B though? Is it an A or a B? You a. Everything else that you got to get up. A you, got, you need a lot of room for A. I'm going to say B uh, and you know I they, played they, it. You know they, Josh, they stack, Josh, right? Josh. What? Say again. I said I'm going to say B. I played it. B, pl oh, B played it. Josh so played it. B. B doesn't mean bad. Yeah. Oh, I thought that's, that's what, what B stood for. <laughs> nah, okay, that's fair. And C is a certified and considering, gold. Considering Metroid Prime's there as well, I think they're both very, very B, good. B so is seven out of ten IGN. Yeah. Uh, Metroid dog shit. You want to put this so in S, this? don't you? S. Okay. I know what you're doing. I it says I'm gonna, dread. I'm gonna oh. put. I'm gonna pitch for S. Yeah, right. Who wants to fight me on it? Is me. it your veto? Well, no, S? Wait, 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 we can't. No, I'm not using my S card. He's not I'm using saying, his S card. Let's oh. put it in S. 
Is that what we're calling it? S card? S card. People, people said it was really good. Um, Ada. I said it was really good. Was, sorry, was it a GameCube game? No. This oh. was original. This is original. This, this was original a return to form for the side scroller. Platformer. It was the Metroidvania done to its best. Dread was so good, says everyone in chat. <laughs> S one please, Gus, completely agree. One person in Three, chat. <laughs> maybe four. <laughs> maybe uh, even four. Say more in chat. A at best. Yeah, look, I reckon it's an A. It's, I think Prince of Persia is way better. And you I, didn't... Mm. Yeah, I did play it. You didn't finish it. Yeah, I didn't finish it because it wasn't fun. <laughs> Where's it? Okay, I'm saying A. yes. You're saying A. A what yeah. are you saying? No comment. No, you don't get to do that. I don't care. C for don't care. No, D for don't care. <laughs> that went, made way more Ruby? sense. Um, it, it reviewed really well, so I'll, I'll uh, go with probably like A or S. A's, A it is. A, A, S, E. <laughs> S-card. Chat says B. Josh, engage Whoa. S card. Chat didn't say B. Wait, so you use your S card? Oi. Oh, I fucking had to. Okay. Oh, you I had to use, use my your S card. You made me use it. There, the thing is, there are better Metroidvanias. Yeah. But, my opinion. But from the Metroid, and not in this list. Um, yeah, this is just... This I don't is, know. Is, you really might four. be someone on this list. No, I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. Mario it's Party what? Mario, that's Super Mario Party. But which oh, one? Wait. One of them was this, terrible, uh, and then one was really good. Super Mario Party rocked. This was the better one. Yeah. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. B? I think she's right. This is the one we played on the show, so it's definitely an A or a B. I, uh, I, I, th- I, I think, think B. I reckon B, B for Mario Party. Nothing's really hit the same since the original. No, this though. is not the one we oh, played wait, on no, the show. Oh, wait, no, Mario Party Mario Superstars, Superstars is the good one. Never mind. That's this oh, is the one that launched with the Switch. This was the first Mario Party on Switch. So uh, this we that was with, that's bad. This was C. bad one. Yeah, I reckon it's C. C. Yeah. 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 Really, we played that with the nieces. I'd put it lower. I would no, almost probably No, no, it copped. Yeah. I'm with Steph. It's almost a, like, it was bad. Like, D. people yeah. were like, it ruined. D. 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 Top of D. I remember it just being, like, frustratingly, like, pointless. Is this Sparks of Hope? This is Sparks of Hope. Yeah. Oh. Is that the first one? Second. Second one. S, dude. Big time. Uh, I personally prefer I think, the first. I would A it and S the other one. Correct. Yeah, okay, the first I, agree. One str- I agree. First one's stronger. Yeah. First one's stronger. All right. Spark yeah, to Hope cool. is there. Mario Kart 8. S. That's an S. Yeah. Is that it, game is... Perfect game. It kind it's of is. It's still going. It's support. It is still... After, after they sort of fi- like fix the battle mode, I feel like... Yes. The, that I've not seen a Nintendo game get that much support mm. as well, so... That game is still... Uh, <clears throat> I think in like the top five best-selling Switch games, like currently. Yeah, yeah that's there's it. nothing to play that's on the thing. Uh, uh, Super Strikers one. I never got around. I would say A. Do huh? I, I mean I would have gone A, but S is fine. I've, I concede. Uh, Super Mario Strikers. Pete's checked out. B. D. No, I heard it wasn't good. Doo-doo dog. Oh. Like no characters and like. The just, general was the general better was I think it's a C. Yeah. We got nothing. Let's in put C. it in C. Let's go C. C. Let's put it in C. S. Toad Treasure Tracker. S. I would say it's. An, this good. I didn't play this one. I played the one on DS or whatever it was. Treasure Tracker rocks. I'd say it's a. so much fun. I say A. Steph, you've been. I just have not played any of these. So in, in, it's in fine. Captain, I don't play it's Nintendo vibe, at all. Stephanie. Yeah. In Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. You play Toad, tracking treasure. Mm-hmm. And but your Toad has a little like light on his on his head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And it's really it was cute. it was the puzzle one where it had like a Monument Valley style to it, and you had to yeah, move Monument Toad around Valley. a cube puzzle where there were hidden things in little shelves. It was actually very clever. I didn't play it, and it got great reviews all around. It's the best. And it's Toad's only outing by himself. Doesn't deserve to go any higher. Just giving it information. Do what it with you. There you have it. And there you have it. I choose not to comment. Is this the Peach <laughs> game that's not even out? To playing more of it yeah. would be. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Because it could be like it was fun at the start. It's an A demo. Uh, and that's S tier right there. We I got think... ourselves an S. Are we we got ourselves S? two S's in a row, maybe three. Because mm, mm, mm. we've got. What have we got next? What's it? What's the first one called? Odyssey. Uh, well, Mario Odyssey Mario is Odyssey, S tier. Mario Odyssey, that is S tier. Yeah. Easily. It's fucking gold. Easily. I love it so much. You know what's weird? Yeah. I, I loved it and I'd love Mario, but I've never had a desire to go and play that again. So I'm not saying it's I not do. S, but it's like, for some reason, it just never really. I feel like I could this. now and I would enjoy it, but. It was very. I've no, good. I don't go back and play Mario games again anyway. Yeah, me After neither. After Mario 64, oh, I haven't. I do go back to Sunshine every <clears> so often. <laughs> 64, it's game. like. Mm. 64 I found really hard But I guess play. if we're looking in the ecosystem of the Switch, like, out it's of all the, the Mario games on it's it. It's the best Mario okay, game. Okay, what about it next to, like, a one? Uh, yeah, I think yes. It's 3D and, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can be a dinosaur. And is that, is that Breath of the Wild? No, no. that's uh, Link's Awakening. Oh, Link's Awakening Breath remake. Thing. Which... Um, mm. Josh, can we put Odyssey in S tier, please? Sorry, yeah. yeah. You're right. No, you're okay. That's okay, Diva. You Link's take your Awaken- time. Link's Awakening suffered from the fact that it was an obtuse Zelda game from the Game Boy, so it didn't have, like, very well 
sort of path. Yeah. Uh, like the puzzles were obtuse and like that was the nature of the game back in the day. It had a really good art style, but it did chunk up from time to time on it's, frame rate. It's an incredibly cool game. It like, looks so cool. Yeah. And the story itself is so interesting because it's just like unlike any other Zelda game. I think it's a B. But it's also high B. Hi, so. Hi, B. Uh, if, if oh, hi, B. I, I only played, I only played like a couple of hours of it. Mm. If Super Mario RPG is in B, I would put Link's Awakening in B as well. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Link's Awakening it's, it's in like B. It's like B plus. Yeah. Uh, and if that's in B, next is which? Another one? Mario Party. Oh, so many Mario this is the better one. This is the better one? Yeah. And we put one in D, Mario. so I would put another Mario part, so in A? Uh, where was Link's? Sorry. Link's in uh, B, Link's Awakening please. In B. And then top the next of, top of top of B, top of the B tier. Thanks, and, King. And Mario Party bottom of the B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, no Mario Party. It's just Mario other. Party. There yeah. are better Mario Parties. The, yeah. Mario Party isn't even that like, good. It's just like a cool idea, and it was fun when you were a kid. I'm gonna oh, put wow. it there because oh, I want to. Josh is a party fiend. Josh is taking no, over. Yeah, it's a way in. All right. Respect. Respect. All right. Valid King. All right. You're, you got the mouse. Spill the <laughs> man's got the Josh, mouse. Josh also I do, I gets do what a, I want. Josh also gets an S. Does that game say Garen jogging? It does. Uh, it is brain training, but the German cover. Yeah, Garen jogging? It's the, it's, the, the... No, it's just jogging your brain. Have you taken your Garen for a jog today? Yeah. You simply must. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Super Mario Party. We're going uh, through this Super very quickly. Deluxe. Dookie. Not good. Ass boring. These, these ran their course. I didn't buy it. I don't, yeah, we don't love the 2D. They, games, anyway. for me, did very little for, for Mario. C. Yeah. C or D for me, honestly. Ooh, D's rough, but... I give a shit. Is that Tropical Freeze? S. Oh, S, that's S, a high S, A, S, maybe S. an S. Yeah. It's a high A. I, I mean, it is a it is a very good Donkey Kong Country game, yeah. and the Donkey Kong Country games are the best games ever. High A, I think. Just because it was it was on... um, What's it called? It was Switch. Switch? It, oh. No, it was on Wii U. It was, um, it was, it was a Wii U. originally Wii U game. Yeah. So you, yeah. You, is that the one that you played, the, the new one? Mm. Yeah. You loved that. It's, it's very sick. good. Yeah. Yeah. DK. Uh, Kirby Plus, again. It's Kirby Fighters 2. Kirby um, Fighters 2? Also, what's up with the box? Is that like some wet uh, retro thing? It's because it's, it's a Nintendo Switch Online title. Like you get it for free through Nintendo Kirby Switch Kirby Fighters Online. 2, Ruby, this is balls in your court. Uh, nah, it, I, I found it, I found Kirby Fighters really boring. Sorry, uh, sorry to uh, this poor man. Kirby, poor Kirby. Uh, oh, e, no, eShop e exclusive. That's right. Yeah, bye bye. Um, yeah. D, is that high wall? High That is Skyward Warriors? Sword. That is Sky, the Skyward Sword, which is the Switch Wii U game, oh, which is a very Skyward good Sword game. Wii game. Wii. Yeah, Wii. Skyward Wii. Sword. Yeah. Wii. Yeah. But. Wii. Wee 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 wee. Because you wee put wee. your you put your Wii mote up mm. and then it puts Steph the sword cracking up. out the French again. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Um, sword. It's it was very good back then. I tried playing it again on Switch and they'd adapted. It it suffers for not having the same motion controls, the same yeah, accuracy. Right. They built that game around that sword. Totally. Play. So it's yeah. like it has Joy-Con it has Joy-Con gestures, not nunchuck accuracy. Oh sure. Yeah. Yeah, Plus okay. it's padded that game. So I would say it's potentially and I've. But I thought the Joy-Con I thought was just like a way way more sensitive like it's it's is it just the, 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 the term it's <laughs> like it's it it has the, sort of the movement like, mechanics it can tell yeah, sort okay. of forward and back and left and right but it can't do angles and everything else more accurately oh, and the nunchuck right. had yeah, okay. The nunchuck was just uh, the nunchuck about, was just a shake and a thumbstick. And also had the it was the Wii mode yeah. could do everything one yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. I would yep. put this in C, even though it's a good Zelda game because it did not play well on C Switch. C is yeah. low for that. Okay. C. Yeah. yeah, and knowing that there's better Zelda to come. I see so. that. Uh, actually, yeah, and I put it above Strikers. Top of C. Top of the C. Top of C. That might piss people off who love that game, and I have a very fond memory of it on Wii. But I, did yeah, not. you love that game. Yeah, it was my f one of the first that I played the whole way through a good game. Yeah. Mario and Sonic at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Cool. Are Are any... Fun fact: Link is left-handed, but because the they made the Wii Mo for Wii Motion, they had to flip the entire game to make it Link right-handed. Yeah, that's Wii amazing. Plus. They didn't flip the entire game; they flipped the character. Mm. Okay. Damn, Maybe crazy. it's an Outer Wild situation where it's easier to flip the entire <laughs> world around <laughs> when you move the sword. The whole world moves. The character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, are these any good? I've never Mario played Mario and Sonic at the. Uh, I have played a few Mario and Sonic at the, the Olympic Games. They are fun. They are 
uh, kind of, they're just like Wii Sports Let's games. Let's do it mm. when the Olympics kick off yeah, here. I we should crack yeah. out either that one or the next one. Crack it is out. There, is there a, is there really a Paris fun. one that's coming I out? hope that there's one coming out this year. Paris I don't is know if French. There will be. When is the Olympics? This year. July. Is it? Yeah. It's I hope there's year. one this year. It's an Olympics. We had a February 29th this year. How crazy is that? That's wild, mm. man. <laughs> I, I, I agree. I think it is a perfectly middle tier game. Where did it go? Oh, B. And B. Oh, I feel bad about that Zelda one now, but sure. End of B. It's at the bottom. <laughs> the butt uh, end of B. Splatoon, Splatoon 2. 2? Two? Uh, sp- I, I, really I think I had the most fun. That's the one you played the one. most of. Yeah, one's, yeah, one was a great introduction, and three is kind of like we've done all this before. Two had DLC. Two is a. Two was also two's like. Two's the pinnacle uh, of Splatoon. Two, two's the two had a really Splatoon. good um, campaign as well. Yes. The campaign of They've Splatoon. They've all been good, two but awesome. two had the, the uh, subway campaign yeah. as well. Yeah, it was yeah that's A. That's, that's a. definitely A. That's mid, mid to top A. Yeah. Yep, sick. That's Yoshi's Egg. That's Yoshi's. Uh, Eggland. Which one is that? Ta-da. One moment. Oh, we're doing gallery. It's gallery mode, guys. It's a mm. coasted world or co- co- crafted world. Ah, uh, I get. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Sorry. She's off mic, folks. I get off mic. It's fine. I get. Yoshi's that, crafted world. That was world. cute. That was the one that kind of looked like knitting and stuff. Yeah. But there was yeah. yarn. Woolly yarn was a different one. Uh, so Yoshi's is... woolly world. <laughs> Oh, different. this one was all like paper crafty this looking. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It was, it it was, was Kirby paper had epic yarn. And epic yarn. Yeah. Kirby epic yarn. They I, bought the, I bought this for my nieces. I think they kind of enjoyed it, but like not as much as like a Luigi's Mansion, which yeah. was a I love Yoshi. Christmas gift from Auntie Steph. Everyone loves Yoshi. It's a cute design. Wants to play the games. They are so easy. They're boring, yeah. and that's yeah, the okay. point of them. It's, yeah. it's a baby game. So it's for a baby us, game for babies. as an object, as a subjective list of all of us sitting here and mm-hmm. vibing it up. D, kids aren't allowed to have fun. Damn right, Peter. Uh, yeah. I would no. Can I argue? C for C. children. C for children. Okay. Yeah, yeah. C for children. What about D for... I'm D gonna... for don't have them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Let's put that in D tier, please. Bottom of D tier. Uh, that is S. That's an Let's S. That, that is total bottom. S. Oh. That right yeah, there is I, an S. I agree. Bottom of S. Bottom of S. Uh, which warrior are we looking at? Get uh, it together. Get it together. Get it together, get it together was one shit. of the little people that took over from the... like. It had a campaign with yeah, each... Yeah, that each... was the first one. It wasn't it's very good. A, it's, it's a C. <clears throat> it's not a D. I played end a lot of, of it. End of C. End of C. At the end of the C... C for creatures. We're a bit chatty over here. If you guys want to pitch in at any point... Yeah, no, I think it's a C. I, I, think nothing, C. I have nothing to contribute. I'll make it up then. You have <laughs> everything to contribute. Uh, Pokemon. Here we go, Peter. Oh, that's Fuck Detective yeah. Pikachu. But... Okay, <laughs> which one? <laughs> is that Detective Pikachu? Yes, it is. D. It's a German. <laughs> <laughs> that game fucking sucks. There it is. Hi, D. Hi, D. Hi, D. Peter. Hi, D. Metopia. Remember when I made you... I put you in Metopia? You were yeah. so angry when I did this. Yeah, it's such a fucking dumb thing. I, and I, he and I, Peter and I went on adventures together. We stayed in a hotel together. I bought a gimp suit. Was this like... I, I looked good in leather. In the Metopia game. Was this like Tomodachi life? People, uh, people love putting Peter in games. Uh, in it was Earth. an expansion of the 3DS going on little quests. Oh, I know I won't yeah. Like it. yeah. Um, yeah. It's like a form of abuse. <laughs> yeah. It's... it's like, hey, I'll put you in a game. Fuck off. <laughs> Keep doing it. I'm a Keep real. I'm it. a real boy. I'm a real boy. I don't belong in a video game. All right, Pinocchio, calm down. He's <laughs> <laughs> up. Uh, Metopia was D. It wasn't good. <laughs> Metopia fucking slap. It wasn't <laughs> good. I we really need uh, a, a what was it called? Me- life on Switch. That's my. Is that on a phone for uh, a period of time? Golf. Yeah, it was. Yes. Golf is C or D. I really yeah, wanted like to it, like you? this, yeah. and it really got shit quickly after the. Fu- uh, D. Golf is top, lame. Top of D. Top of D. Period. It was botched. Boring. Yeah, not fun. It's S. Whoa. Sorry. Fuck. Scared you. Kirby what? <laughs> I don't know what this That's is. That's Kirby in the Forgotten Land. It, okay. uh, is that cool. Malfoy? Because it's soft? German That's and I can't read that. Oh, uh, so Malfoy mode. 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 mode was okay. Yeah. That so was while Malfoy you do mode. play uh, Fight God and yep, stuff. You fight God. This isn't the one I meant before. I did mean the other one where he's riding on the thing. Kirby. Star Allies. Star Allies apparently is like. Not for us. It's apparently S and A. It's like people are like, it's oh, the best. Oh, Star Allies is one of the best Kirby games I've ever played. So I've heard it's better than this one. Wrong. Oh. That's fine. That's oh. fine. I'm just saying that's what I've heard. Ruby wants to put it. I think it's S tier, honestly. Not only do you fight a, a that's... 1980s The Thing, but then after that you fight God. So here's the thing. That sounds S to me. None of it's us have played. incredible. Okay. I'm saying it's A. Peter? Mouthful mode. Uh, that was the... That's the only Kirby game I've look played at the, this look generation. Look how pure the, the top of the S is. I oh, know, not a Kirby in sight. 
Um, it's not just an S, baby. Look how pure it's not the just S an is. S. It's, a it's the cool S. It's a Stussy. That's the freaking cool S right there. I can't wait, I can't wait to fuck yeah, that yeah, up with yeah. everybody one two switch. Yes. Uh, yes. I mean, no. It was not particularly fun to play. Could yeah. be on the Forgotten Land. Yeah. It was amazing. It was like a B for me. I'd say B. Oh my god. Um, Are you using Okay, what's on the list? Movie? What's on the list? Can I see what else is there? Uh, okay. Oh, shit. What about arms? Uh, what if you need to get arms What if you S? need to get arms to S? Fuck arms. <laughs> Legs the are better. Pikmin 4 is still Legs there, get me this around. This is my favorite part of the tier list is when um, you start judging it by other things that are in that category. Be like, it's got to be better than that. Yeah, Pikmin yeah, yeah, 4 yeah, yeah. is there. And, come on now. It can't be in the same category. You're all going to say amazing things about Pikmin 4 we because it's genuinely a fantastic and perfect man game. Mm, that's uh, true, you Tinykin are. Tinykin is, is amazing as well. You don't have to. I'm making a joke. No, this is ruining my life. Do you want to? If you use it, it's done. S. Or S. I'm using it. I'm using it. <gasps> the card is spent. Yeah, She's sorry. played her card. The card is spent. Wow. It you, rocked. Are you going to regret that later? Maybe. You might. No, what's this? What's I this game? I never regret anything. This is Kirby's something deluxe. Uh, that is Kirby Return to Dreamland deluxe. <laughs> yeah, that's, how, <laughs> that's how I feel. I'd like to use <laughs> Josh channeling steps. Yeah, this yeah. is Kirby's yeah. something deluxe. Uh, I'd like to use my card, please, Josh. Let's get it up into S. Whoa. <laughs> is that real? No. What was this? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it, it was a remake, remake of the uh, bullshit. one of the. It just went to B. It, feel, it feels B-ish to me. It's, yeah, it I was alright. I think B. Yeah, it feels like that. It just no, looks like it's a... C. It's C because that one in B is apparently. Like, oh, he's really good. I've yeah, listened yeah. to like a podcast oh, that Eyes? kept coming back to it, yeah, and like, I'm still B, playing. Yeah, yeah Star Eyes is, is so good. No, I went into the world. So it's better than. But it's better than that Mar uh, that Kirby, so we move that Kirby down. Yeah, or yeah. we can put that Kirby up. Mario 3D context. World, interesting. Uh, so 3D World and Bowser's Fury, S. Bowser's Fury, so here's the thing. Bowser's Fury is S, Yeah. 3D and it's the best Mario experience uh, but, I've but, ever had. But tainted. Well, it's just that it's packaged, wow. It's packaged with Super Mario 3D World, which <clears> was <throat> a Wii... You. But as a bonus. But the, which was but the Bowser no, but the Fury Bowser was the new was, content, right? Yeah, but it was the bonus. But that being said, that was this Super Mario 3D World came out on the same console that Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe came out. And Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, 3D World, one of the, it's the best. It's cat suits. It's, it's, it's the cat suit yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's oh, shit, awesome. Yeah. It's not the best Mario 3D Mario, though. So it's like if they were separate. It's I'd the put best multiplayer 3D Mario. But, but but like if one of them is is worth Let's an S what? for you, then consider the other one as like a, a little. That's little, the bonus. Yeah. A little, I went that way. You went that was that way. Was, it's a sprinkle. And Bowser's they meet Fury's somewhere in the middle, insane. like the sands in the hourglass. <laughs> uh, it's an A. It's an A. High A. High A. High A. Top of the A. You'd be high A, mother. Oh, not higher Ethel. than Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> I'll agree with that. Yeah. yeah, and I like how. Exact that positioning God, was like you didn't yeah, even yeah, yeah. think to put it yeah. in I front of Josh. Back knows. And play Bowser's Fury Josh again. knows. So... Do you want to play together? <clears throat> no, it's a single player game. No, it's not. It's two player. What? Yeah, you play as Mario and the other person can play as Bowser. Bowser Junior. Junior. Oh, you just float with them. Gus only yeah, play, no, no, no. Gus only plays both, games with his fishing friends. You can both play separate. Like it's two player. I'd love to. Uh, it's, it's not gonna happen. It's just it's not gonna it's happen. Fine. It's not gonna happen. Next game. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> uh, we got ourselves Splatoon I three. Like I've heard it's incredible. <laughs> like I've heard nothing but good things about that game. Let's put I've it heard it's incredible. Let's put it in B so that the other One Splatoon can, get can go to a. In a. I like your logic. And then we go Sab. It gets the Sab award. Mm. It gets the Sab award. An S One and A game and a B. in each. Yep, for the uh, trilogy. Pikmin One and Two S. <laughs> it's no. true. It's true. No. It's true. They're two perfect games that led to the most perfect game, Pikmin 4, and 3 was there. Well, you can't have 1, 2, and 4 up in S. Mm, yeah. I don't know about that. You could have them all in D. That's wrong. I'm just saying you could. They'd fit there. Yeah, you could have them all there if you were wrong. <laughs> It's uh, funny how life let's works. Let's imagine a world we, where they were all in is, D. Are we making a rule that when it's... Because I'm assuming we can put more than the Yeah, row. yeah, it'll go you into can. another... Yeah. But It'll our rule is that it drops into oh, the next tier. That's so down. dumb. No, I like <laughs> that. No. Yeah, it, yeah, it has down. to. Well, look, that none of those have games to... won't fit. But that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It can be. See, the crazy thing the is, is that Pikmin 1 or 2 are perfect games. Uh, Who so says that? Me, and I'm right. Just you. 
I've uh, never been so right about something in my life. I'm going to say B because I think Pikmin 1 was an A concept and then they just kept making more of them and they haven't been any better I since. would say A. I'm going to be sick. <laughs> I'm going to throw I'm up. I'm saying A, but it gets pulled down to B. I'm throwing up on the carpet <laughs> and I'm rubbing it It's okay, in. you won't see it in this carpet. <laughs> <laughs> the carpet's already... Not with what I've been eating. <laughs> <laughs> We're leaving Her. space for f <laughs> we're leaving space for f four to do whatever Four's you want to do. Four's got to do your work up and yeah, yeah, potentially yeah, yeah. up and out. So, so that's okay, why I should go okay, B, a. and then there's room in A for yeah. Okay, yeah. A. no, I, A, A. We're and voting. You're saying B. We're saying A. I okay, think okay, it's okay. S. Okay. Steph, that's my. You opinion. talking it? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I think it's whatever you believe in your heart. I like Captain Olaf. <laughs> it's a. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm thinking Frozen. Oh, no. Fro I'm thinking you Frozen 1 and 2. Pikmin 1, 2, A? 1, 2 is A, yep. Yeah, yeah. A. Bottom of A. And then 4 goes straight into B. What the fuck is What's that? What's this one? That's Smash Bros. <sighs> the new I mean, Smash Bros. It's, it's dense. Yeah, dense. Low, low, A, so dense. low A, high B. I didn't play, yeah. Um, I, like I keep it installed on my Switch, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, and I'm always like, I should go jo back and play Josh, that. Josh is pushing it up. Josh, there's uh, some S's. There are a lot of S's in the chat. Yeah, but oh, people he's go moving it up the A's. People love the up the A's. Oh, Sh Josh, have you played much? Oh, oh. No, yeah. not, not tropical oh. freeze. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tropical okay, freeze. sorry. Actually, hold Release. on. If Mario Kart is in S, Smash should be in S. No, Ooh. because Ooh. yes, because they're but it's not. They, they don't even play this at the eSports events yes, because it's do. not the best match. Vibe. No, they, it's not they, melee. they, they do vibe. play it. What are we vibing? It's no melee, we, as Josh It's says. no melee. They do play it. it Only it, because they feel like they have to. No, it's that's all about not melee. True. Yes, it is. It's dog shit. They play I, I do the eSports. He's the eSports. That man I is an eSport right there. Do they play it in eSports? Right. Of course they do, but they're, it's not melee. Yeah, they're forced to it's play not it. Melee. <laughs> they're forced to play it because Nintendo won't I think it let them play in it. With Mario Kart. Won't let them I think do it's a on Smash the same event. tier as Mario Kart. That's my opinion. I agree, and I think Mario Kart should be an A. I disagree. <laughs> You're dead inside, Peter. It's in A. We're there have on. been S Mario Karts, but I don't think that's. I'm an not S moving Mario it. Kart. Yep. Mario All good. Kart, Mario Kart Wii. Uh, a double dash is the best one. Easy. Wii. Yeah, I think Wii is probably the, the one that played the best for me. Double dash. And you got the little wheel. Little wheel. <laughs> you got the little wheel <laughs> controller. Exactly. The Wii U was fun. The Wii U one was fun as well. Are you doing that with the 3D? What are you doing? What? It's the Wii mode. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm with you. Yeah, when I think about all of the like fucking peripherals that they released Dolphin during Pence that era, it was actually wild. Angry. What is Dolphin Pants angry about? I want to know. Uh, let us know in chat. Yeah. Ask us a question in the post show. We might answer it then. <laughs> Moving on. That's a good point. All right. Next is uh, Paper Mario and the Origami King. I thought this was a really good Paper Mario, especially since the last few weren't. Are there that any more sneaking great. up on us? Paper Mario's. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the the remake, which I would oh, consider okay. we just made was adjustment this, on the original. I, I reviewed one for Spawny on the Wii U. That wasn't this. Though, uh, was that this that would have been the color splash. Color splash. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Origami I King, I honestly think was super duper underrated for a Paper Mario game, because um, like mean? color splash was was wank. Sticker style That's was wank. That's what I wrote wank. for Spawny. Mm. Uh, uh, super... No, you just wanked on camera. I think. Yeah. Is what happened there. Yeah. So sticker style was wank wank. Uh, but uh, sleep. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, there's only one spot left in A. Um, There's only one spot left in A. When you high B. B, B, high B, high B. We gotta leave room in A. Yeah, gotta leave room okay, in A. Okay, high, highest B, but that's only because Thousand Year Door is also like, on this, this list. This bullshit. But there's games that we just haven't got to yet. They and they just uh, what it's are they? It's all about to shuffle. It's about to start shuffling. I grant you the highest B. It's about. I, to, it's about to become the waterfall cascade. I effect. cried playing Origami King. Important to clarify. Uh, uh, what the is Mario this? 3D. Package of all these games: Mario 64, uh, Mario Sunshine. D, D and because it was limited time for no fucking reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was I it? Mean, yeah, yeah. They don't, they don't sell it anymore. Yeah, D. That. Yeah, I reckon that just from a marketing perspective, that's a D. They, yeah. And they didn't add anything like uh, there was some. They're all ports too. Oh, so not ports. They were all shit emulation. And yeah, the, yeah. But also yeah. that being said, all not it, widescreen. It let me replay Sunshine. Care, I fucking S. loved it. However, I think it is D tier just for a dick move Agreed. of move. making it a limited release. There yeah. is no reason to do that uh, that isn't just hiking the price up online 
Fuck off. Fuck okay, off. Next okay. One, Love you, Josh. Nintendo. Luigi's <laughs> Mansion. Luigi's Mansion Three. Is that the best of the Luigi's Mansions? Yes. It's pretty yeah. damn good. I. Uh, uh, it made me a hero to my nieces. Yeah. yeah. Yes, it's um. It's it's. I reckon S it's for me. S. Yeah. I reckon Luigi's Mansion. I haven't played a single one, so I'm out of that entirely. But it's about time we put something. Yeah, Indie Mouse. Exactly. Um, is that S? She's back. It an S? <laughs> it's my perfect game. It's my contribution. Wah, I'm Gooigi. Yeah. Oh, being Gooigi was so fucking fun. Arms is shit. I really wanted to like it too. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's so bad. High D, low C. What is it? It's the uh, boxing it's a, game where they all had like stretchy arms uh, that were kind of like <laughs> crinkled paper and they had all these characters. It was a valiant Put it in low C. It's, it's, low, a cool, it's a cool. It's it was a valiant a effort to, to use the Switch Joy Cons to make a new IP with like interesting characters. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried really hard to be it was, good at it. It was, for, it was and, like, cool on paper. It did Apparently, not you play also well. played the Sun Sunrise. Is this you true? Played, yeah, you would have played, played this on Sunday. Zero Street. memory of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do not recall. Uh, a big question that? here. This is Tears, Tears of the Kingdom. Kingdom. Where did we put Breath of the Wild? It's yes. in S. I would a. put Tears in A. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm okay. That, with that being said, I top like Tears of A. Though. Top of A. Yeah, top, top of A. a. Conquers a. Kong. Easy. Easy. Beats Kong. Conquers Kong. I'm really okay with that. Whoa. 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 What was that one? Whoa. Mario Kart. Oh, that was the one you played last week. No, that's okay. It, it was for babies. It was for babies. No, it's C for children. Can we put that in C for children, please? Yeah, right. C you. for children. Uh, this is Super Mario Maker 2. Wow, wrong. Well, you spelled wrong, wrong. So I d disagree with that. They'd already used all their W key in ah, the first word. I will yeah. say I preferred Tears of the Kingdom over uh, <clears throat> Breath of the Wild. No, also... Breath of the Wild. T uh, Super perfect. Mario Maker 2. I may be completely talking to my ass here. Remember I made fake Felt levels, unnecessary it? because the first one was so brilliant. And this, this was kind of just like... Second added the like Mario World palette, I think. Whereas the first may have just been like 1, 2, and 3 and Mario Bros. So yes, I agree with you 100%. But I'm trying to remember what two had different and different steps. I just had, like it had more tools to play with for sure. Everybody 1, 2, Switch isn't on there. Is. Isn't it that it it's is. a fourth it's the, it's the fifth one? It's got one the most yeah. busy yeah. cover yeah. in the whole world. Yeah, it's, the, it's, it's a hideous cover. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be an S. It'll Her be an face S. Went can to... we can we just have a look at S really quick? There is so much space there. Yeah. That's the point. That's not, not, it's not there supposed to be filled, to be full. It's not I think to, it is. We don't need to fill that. That the point There's is not you that can, many good Mario games. You we put, put a Kirby game. Every time we do this, you would put everything in fucking S. Uh, no, I'm just saying. I think T was I think Snipper Clips first kingdom, party. I think Tears of the Kingdom should be S. That's my opinion. Was Snipper Clips first party? Mm. Yes, it was. Yeah. Was what? it first party? It was. Yeah, Pretty it was sure. I think, it, I think like, it was a. I think it was a no, tiny little dev team. Yeah, yeah I think it was. It doesn't seem like a first party game. I think it just lived on being. It was a launch. It was like a launch title. Hey, sorry. In the chat, Ben should get an S card. True. Because mm. they are a part of the team and therefore they should get an S card. Well, hang on, hang on. So. Ben, are you putting tears at the kingdom? I don't think so. No one at the, the back of the studio gets an S card. Yes, That's they do. True. No, no, they don't. don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They're no, they don't. Teams. This is just getting made you up right now. You can't just uh, hand sorry. out S cards willy-nilly. You, yeah. uh, you need to be on this carpet to get an S card. Or, Here's the thing. Yeah, well, we I, Josh, I can message Ben on my on my iPad. We all just saw what Ben did and we appreciate it. Now we pull the card back and we move that back down. Yeah. Tears to uh, revokes. Tears to, no, no, no. I think it's. I think it works there. Revokes. We saw it. We saw it. <laughs> it won't go. It won't go on the other side of Kong. Ben, yes, to Willy Nilly. I worked cards. for you. <laughs> <laughs> they literally worked. And not the other way around. Don't you forget it. <laughs> you know what, Ben? It's in S tier in my mind. There you can it keep is. it in your. Right. You can keep it in your it's S mind palace your S as long as you like. Heart. It's worse than the first. It's in one. your S heart, also known as the shot. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, sure, it, surely, sure. surely, I understand. But that it, it breaks my model. <laughs> Imagine giving Will an S card. Fuck your model. All I'm but saying is, that, okay, you could never do that. Regardless of Ben's to S card, does that when you look at the games on, like, wouldn't that at least? <laughs> Be worthy of this an S. This exactly is doing exactly what I love. This segment. All I'm does. saying, <laughs> yeah. all I'm saying is, uh, you know, you are not giving Ben their S card. If you see Goatsy on the Twitter tomorrow, you just count your days. <laughs> that's that's on you. We get cancelled. And not on us. True. All right. Just you do wield incredible power. Just Slipped. Uh, cool. Uh, so Super Mario Maker Two C. Ah, B. 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 It's still great, but yeah. it's like it's unnecessary. They use their anyway. ideas. What's this Aces game? Aces uh, that was, was a tennis. bit shit, but then Mario Tennis. Of, it was a bit shit. Oh, it's Mario but It reviewed it like sevens, six, sevens, and eights, but then people it. were like, actually, yeah. this is pretty good. I played through the campaign of that. It had an interesting game. I yeah. would say it's. There's a campaign was, for tennis. Yeah, I reckon that's a B. That was a B it's kind a of B. experience to me. Have we got any room in A left? 
No. What's the story? Oh in no, tennis? we don't. It's down to B then. Yeah, it's a B. What's the story in tennis? Whoa. Yeah. There's a full story in it. There was. You a know story what would it. make room in A? I don't remember. Getting rid of princess. Is it the same as that um that that Zendaya movie that's coming out? Demar to De Luigi and Mario kiss on Peach's Oh, the neck tennis one. Room. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Man, it was like I've, I've, really sexy. I fucking yeah, I would have cool. loved to see that movie without having seen that trailer. That tra the, the whole plot. they gave it all away. Oh, fucking it's really hell. wild. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't wait to see the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. don't watch the trailer. Okay, great. Don't know what you're talking about. Warrior wear, move it. I really loved it. I feel like it 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 took me back to the old Warrior wear type games, which I really loved. That being said, it did stop working on the show, so I say put it in S tier. What? You said it didn't work, so it's S tier. Yeah, it was funny as hell. High B. <laughs> High B's. Hi B. Hi B B. Hi B. You, you need to get Steph involved because right now you're out. You keep getting outvoted because one goes quiet and there's two v one here. Steph, go power. Come on. Why not, not, now, not yet. Let's move. Were you on the show that we played Warrior Women? Yeah, maybe? you were. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. We did. No, that was that's one, two, switch. Yeah, one. Everybody on switch is S. Yeah. Uh, I think everyone agrees that's S tier, right? Uh, oh wait, we're on Wonder. Oh, Super Mario, Mario Brothers Wonder. Wonder. Your game of the year last year, Angus, Jeffrey, Bruce, Ronald. Like Magic, Magic Hat. No. Feels like a no. High, that's Odyssey. Odyssey. Feels like a Wonder, high a. Wonder Seeds. I tried. The full player game. That we I, tr I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. <laughs> Magical Hat. No, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven knows I tried. <laughs> Feels like a high A. I would say high A. I uh, always it's going to knock Peach into B, though. It will. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's how the list works. Bye -bye. Unless you want to put Pikmin 1 and 2 cool. after Peach. She gets to high B. This is amazing. I love how Whoa. this works. Do you want to put Pikmin 1 2 after Peach? Um, No. Okay. Because it hasn't come out yet. Yeah, no, I agree. That's so, why it should be D. And I, I think it's going to be one of my favorite games <clears throat> this year, but yes, I can't know until oh, it's out. Oh, where's it going? Where's it going? S, oh, Bobby. S, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like part of the lore of the show that it's top. S. Yeah, there top it is. Yeah. Top Does S. everyone agree on that? That's yeah. a perfect game. It has to In that now. case, I'm <clears throat> sacrificing my uh, S card and um, moving Tears of the Kingdom up to S. Yeah, Ooh. baby! <laughs> that's well, what's up. Fucking dumb. That's what's up. <laughs> what the that's fuck? That's... She is a woman <laughs> of the people. The You're fuck? welcome. Who did, who did you do that for? Who's paying you? No Slay. one. Someone slipped you some cash? I'm here for fucking free. <laughs> <laughs> did someone just slip you some cash, Aru? Yeah. Dollar She's knows. so right. I mm. can do what I want. She's so right. Steph, I can do what I want. Hero <laughs> of show. She's All so right, right for that. we're ending on a bit of a flat one because we're, what are we uh, we're not ending because we might have to move some things around. That's true, yeah, yeah. So pick uh, four. Pick four. Let's chuck that in S. There's, There's room in space, A now. Heaps of space uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's okay. Let's put that in S. <laughs> There's heaps no, no, of space. It's all good. It's all good. It's okay. It's okay. Guys, guys, it's so fine if we just put Pikmin four Talking, in S. Talking, getting louder and faster than uh, work. Trust me. No, it, like trust me, it's fine. Heaps of space. So Pikmin four in S. It's it's okay. Let's put it in A at, at the It's highest. in A. It's, it's the best in, Pikmin game, right? It's the best Pikmin and game. And it's in front of one and two, which yeah, are top okay. of that. So you got, you've got one, two, and four. Yeah. I think that makes sense. But you know what? Yeah. If we wanted to make some space in A, uh, we could simply just put Pikmin four up into S. No, we don't need to. It's the crazy We don't actually need to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wonder if we get left, Josh. Yeah. Stage five. Only two games <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, so I understand it's never going to be This one's probably going to be an S, I think. That's Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. That is the best Paper Mario game ever made. No joke. But it's a Paper Mario. I don't like yep. paper Mario. Let's put that in S, I think. Is you don't like C for children? I don't like C for children. No, no, it's I wouldn't say it's for children. C for children? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say it's for children. I wouldn't say it's for children. Uh what do we want to move out of B for it to go into B here? That says Peach. Uh, I think, Princess. okay, no, it's just a demo. Hear me out, out though, hear me out. D, it should go into D, D demo. So D the demo, space in S into D demo. What? is She's already what the Don't vibe is. She's down. I'm, there's, <laughs> there's. <laughs> We're having a lateral panic attack it's, over here. It's fine. Ruby, Wait, this um, is not even out? It, oh, this is the remake. Yeah, it's it's the, it's not even out. It's not out. It's literally the best Put it in Paper D for Mario demo. game ever made. D for doesn't. Oh my god, D for doesn't lightheaded. exist. <laughs> D for doesn't is exist. Is there like a doctor on set? No. <laughs> it's not worth it. It's not worth it. The they're, they're right. It's not out. It's it's if I just pretend it's not there. Okay. Uh, it's, it's okay. Not, no, it's, that's fine. That's it doesn't so get rated as D. It's just it's not there. It's not there. We've only got one game left. Effectively, isn't on the list. The game that isn't is on the the. That's not out yet, so I think it's only fair that we put uh, Paper Mario in S. So where does Luigi go? Luigi's Mansion 2... Was it, not that good. 
<laughs> you just got to move on to the next one. It's definitely A, which should knock Pikmin 1 and 2 down to B, uh, I think. What? Are you... Pick, Luigi's Mentioned 2 yeah. for the 3DS. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously. Oh, I did play that. Oh, it's on the Switch, you're forgetting. Yeah, it's not out yet. Luigi's Mentioned 2? Yes, it's not out yet. Yeah, yeah but, but it's, it's already but out. we already played it on no, 3DS. No, it's not. Which was fun. <laughs> it was great on the 3DS. But she's using this... <laughs> Put it in D. She's Put trying to use D. the I'm same logic against you. i my... Put it in D. Uh, which means that Peach can go back up to A. Peach was in A? <laughs> yeah. we, took, we took Pikmin 1 too. Oh, no, I know, soon. Josh. Have we done it? Uh, I haven't used my S card yet. Oh yeah. My God. I think you should use. Here we go. Uh, I haven't used mine yet I either. Think you um, it put... Josh, yes. no one up that end of the pure, room gets pure, one. Pure chaos. You've, already, you, you've already used yours. No one's allowed to say no to me at the moment. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's true. Uh, I would like to oh, S. Chaos mode over here. Uh. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Okay. Yeah, it's well played. So that makes space. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that was Tim makers in Rome. No, 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 it wasn't. Actually, no, it no, wasn't she's... because Josh <clears throat> hasn't chosen no, no, his no. yet. But but also, she she's right because we moved Peach down, so now that we... goes up. Yeah. Yahtzee. Hmm. I think we could order the S tier as well before we wrap up here. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but also, uh, Josh, do you have an S that you'd like to use? Not yet. I'm. I'm, I'm Not yet. Thinking. The game's over. You guys just keep. Uh, <laughs> you guys keep riffing. Discussing that amongst yourselves. So I think we could. So now we're just ordering the S tier, yeah, left that... to right, in terms of actual best games yeah, okay. on Switch. Okay. So round the room, vote for number one in S, Peter. Uh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you set this up. You got to. I was just through. gonna say. I was just gonna say. Obviously, everybody wants to switch is in S tier because back pocket favorite. Yeah. We could, for the gag, leave it there, but I think it's the end of. That would be my vote. <laughs> That's your number one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the confidence of that. <clears throat> yeah. We okay. Could. Okay. Well, then I guess my vote for the 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 actual number one game on the Switch, I think, is Breath of the Wild. Correct. Nah. Yeah. Correct. It is. That is I, the greatest <laughs> game of all time. <laughs> Josh, excuse me. <laughs> oh, come yeah. on. It's, a, it's funny. Think of the first uh, time. Uh, Anyone who looks world. at that list will oh, know exactly you, what's going on. you saw the aliens on. coming over the hill in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And then they went back up, and then they came back down, and nah, then they came back mid. up. it's mid. Breath of the mid. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Even uh, Dolphin <laughs> Pen says, look, yeah, okay. Mid. She gets the game. We've won Dolphin Pants over. Dolphin Pants has Is been... Is there any more shifts in S? Uh, I think Kirby the rest should matter. be in between. No, not no. that one. What? It's the best one. <laughs> Josh is not putting up with the Kirby S? bullshit. I think Kirby... Yeah. No. yeah, yeah, yeah. Put Tears of the Kingdom up. Up. Up one more. No. Up Mama, one more. I think and then one more again. It's third party. This is my S, by the way. What about... I'm just going to put it down here. Nice. Which Mario and I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, explain why in the post Um, Can we move Luigi's Mansion up, actually? Let Just... Between Mario Kart 8 and Zelda, sure. no, I genuinely think that so I genuinely that. think that Luigi's Mansion 3 is one of the it is, best it's, games. It's like Switch. it is a perfect game. It's a perfect it's game. Awesome. It's about, like a, it's a better Mario game than Odyssey. Yeah. Sure. What about? I mean, it's not really a Mario. What about game, Freeze, Pete? I'm not just trying to like that. Is no, it was, yeah, it was, it was like early, early. I, I love it. Mm. it. I'm just happy it's in S. <laughs> where I moved <laughs> it with my card. I just think it's neat. I just think it's neat. Yeah, I can, I can live with this. <clears throat> I can't. Are we, ha are we happy? We are. We're all ecstatic. We're stoked. And um, that mm -hmm. was mm -hmm. last call. Oh, that was tear makers in rain, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in time, like. So what's pickpocket again? Yeah, what is pickpocket? Really quick. Pickpocket is where we create a list of. That's what's right. coming up next. Pickpocket is where we create a list of our own. Oh, uh, we, that's we right. We generate a category, so it might be like best. Uh, it was we, like basically, best... we're doing this before we knew tier makers existed. Yeah, hence it dies, uh, and yeah. the segment never be comes back because the because the. Obviously, we made like best very zombies and best controllers yeah. and stuff. Yeah, remember we followed yeah, the yeah. Cool. Do you remember controllers? I liked, the, a lot of I liked the food based ones. Yeah, neat. <clears throat> anyway, 
Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much for joining us on the show today. Coming up next is the post show. What's the post show? It's where we go freaking crazy and it's behind a freaking paywall. And it is sponsored by Oz Naminator. And for Oz Naminator is our little fun, little gamey game game. Which hair is that? Anyway, um, That's the game. for our fun little silly game that we do for Oz Naminator, we get some mm-hmm. Australian rhyming slang. We do. Okay. Like uh, Bing Bong is uh, Australian rhyming fat slang dong. for Fat Dong. Fat old dong. And so <laughs> that's how it works. That's I've got one, one here. That's, yeah. one, that's all of that's our favorite That's one that we all one. use all the time. Um... And this one is uh, <laughs> this one is twist and twirl. And then the thing is, and I second guess it in my mind. I'm like, is <laughs> <laughs> twist and twirl? Sorry, twist twirl. and twirl. Sorry, please continue. Twist and twirl. Uh, throwing up, having a hurl. Nah, I was Damn. gonna say that, but I... mm. twist and twirl. Pretty girl. Ooh. It's girl. I'll give you that. It's what? girl. It's just girl. It's girl. It's always like you think it's two words, so it must be two mm. yeah, things, yeah, but it's yeah, just yeah. the second one. It's just the yeah. yeah. I imagine it would be used in reference to a pretty girl. Look one. at that pretty yeah. twist and twirl. <laughs> yeah, and it's because women be doing that. They do. Girls yeah. be twisting and twirling. Yeah, it's just it's That's fun. What it's, music it's, did they do it to, Josh? It's, it's fun to twirl. Come on, baby. He was. He, he wasn't. There. What music Let's do girls do twist and? Oh. oh. Hey. Yeah. It's all coming together. It's delightful. <laughs> it's delightful. All right, divas. Uh, so that's Oz Naminator sponsoring the post show. If you want to get access to the post show, all you got to do is join our Patreon at the gold tier, and then you can come and join us for some weird, freaky, crazy stuff. That questions? We can't do. Some questions. Crazy questions. Some, some questions. Crazy creative. Some answers. <laughs> And also some <laughs> creative. That's true. Everything you're saying is right. Gus is streaming on Monday. That's true. I'm Ooh. back. Uh, it's my turn. What's uh, you, what you doing? I haven't decided yet. I'd love to stream some fishing, but I don't think people want to watch me fish. I think people want to watch you do what you love. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Steph. And if that's fishing, then I think they'd love to come on you with that journey. I'd love to show everyone my fishing adventures. I got a new boat. I got a new outfit. I'm very excited to head to Spain and start fishing in the, uh, air, the lakes of Spain that I haven't tried yet. Do what you love, I think you could. Sounds I think you could cool. do that. Yeah. Gus can tangle my lures, says chat. All right, it's decided. I'll be fishing. Unless something's I'll new have comes a, out. Um, <sighs> I'll have a very special surprise for your fishing stream as well, man. <gasps> I've been saving it. I've been saving it in the back box. <gasps> Josh better dress as a giant fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a fish. It's rotten now. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll be doing that on Monday. So uh, that should be fun. Nice. Delightful. And uh, that's our show, guys. We'll be back same time next week. Uh, same show, but we'll have a guest next Ooh, time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How exciting. Who are we going to be? Uh, well, you'll we just have to yet. wait and That's see. That's the right response. Right? Um, yeah, I'm not giving everything away. Uh, I'll leave some stuff up to the imagination. But before we go, you know how we said that you can go into the store and get a clock? No, I, I must know now. Uh <laughs> Oh, yeah. But you're distracted. It's, fun. So, it's happening. Is that what I was talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, you know how we make that joke? Oh, get yourself a back pocket, clock it. Go to the Red, red Bubble store. It was a clock. Yeah. Got Go it. onto the website and get yourself a cock. I mean cock. I mean cock. I mean clock. <laughs> Thank you to everyone for tuning in, especially <laughs> those of us who are supporting the show on Patreon. And we'll see you in the post show. Uh, please share the show with your friends and family. Uh, head to backpocket.gg. Uh, find our Discord, find our socials, find the Red Bubble store where you will find our cock. Get I mean, that clock. clock. And uh, Pete, thanks. Cock. Steph, thanks. No, it. Because <laughs> thanks. Dong. And Ruby, <laughs> get yourself some cock. I mean, clock. I mean, cock. I mean, clock. Cock. Clock. Bye. Cock you later.
don't know where the camera is. I'm working on it. Oh, I know what it was. This is my bad. Sorry, everyone. Only my mic's on. There we are. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.